Hello everyone, welcome back to Spar and Brawl. I hope you're having a decent day. As always, I'm joined by my co-host Sam. I'm back with a new episode of It's a Progressive World. So as usual, you can find timestamps down below and please like and subscribe. All right, Sam. So I guess first of all, we're going to get to talk about it again, have some fun. All the characters were back so, for this one. All so the, I think the producers managed the, to get everyone for yeah, the reunion. Everybody. There were a few who are, you know... Yeah, tough to get a hold of, but they managed to get them. They're all involved. They're all back. So, uh, I mean, I I, I think the 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 villains are still yeah. not getting as much airtime as necessary <laughs> because I for understandable reasons. But yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun. I mean, uh, yeah, I wish kind of AOC herself. I'll tell you about it more, but. Like the politician itself would have gotten more involved. But yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. And I love all these oh. all these clips that there are that are of like you know, uh, the votes that were going on for McCarthy, and then they're dubbed with random like commentary between like AOC and other people. Have you seen these on Instagram? No, I. Oh, they're I'm hilarious. Yeah. Oh, is it like commentary as in like? Uh, you know, like oh, it shows the no. It's yeah, it's like audio from like a TV show or something. Part. No, no, no. It's like a random like commentary added to it. That's just like that that like matches the way their lips and stuff are moving. But oh, it's just oh nonsense. It's dubbed. Yeah. All right. I see. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, Kevin McCarthy became the leader of the. I'm sorry, the speaker of the yeah. House in the congress so finally after 15 votes it was a emotional roller coaster <laughs> nobody was sure that he will win now or he will win tomorrow <laughs> or he will win the day, day after it was crazy but <clears throat> but he did win and uh we're going to talk about that for uh, the disarray among the republicans a bit but what was more fun, at least to us, was the revival of the forced the vote. And yeah. this was done by uh, Brianna Greyjoy. So we're going to talk about that. She, on the good revival, side. I guess. She brought up, <laughs> on the good side, uh, she brought, <laughs> she brought this up, case. like, it, uh, this was used as an example, the Kevin McCarthy case was used as an example of how uh, val to validate the strategy yeah. that was advocated. I mean, it was uh, more than an example. Course. It was literally that just done. It was you know? the closest yeah. thing to. I mean, literal. it was that. Yeah, it's literal. like you know, I'll show you how to eat it later was... on, and then someone comes I... with their meal in front of you, and the eating. <laughs> <laughs> and that's close to <laughs> yeah, so that's how you eat. <laughs> that's uh, I see. Uh, yes. So he could have done it, but <laughs> yeah, it was it was the closest thing to a literal like. But some people don't seem to understand. It's like as if okay, yeah. I thought the next picture was gonna be Anna, but I was gonna be like people like oh, Anna uh, seem to miss. It. There's yeah. Anna like so, seems to see it. She's like, no, I still don't understand how someone eats food. No, no. she understands. <laughs> no, she, I, no, she clearly. <laughs> It's just willful ignorance. I really like it's just you become blind to anything because that it would require fundamental sort of sort of apology or you know rethinking yeah. of your approach. So you just ignore that. You just put that in a box and you lock the box and you put. Especially because there was something so factual <laughs> that, that they got wrong, right? They they, they yeah, yeah, pretend like they, they weren't saying that exactly. <laughs> fucking commentary political commentary. how is the speaker who is the speaker again just out of curiosity. <laughs> just... it's like fucking, like it's always so mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Jimmy Dore uh, also um, yeah. like everybody's involved in this because Brian jo Joy mentions and I think she went on his show although I didn't catch really? that and not gonna probably other, uh, yeah. other idiots that weighed in were included Ben Burgess and his <laughs> condescending sort of uh, <laughs> uppity uh, sort of way of talking uh, tone. Now I'm I use sometimes anyway, but it's just I hate him. <laughs> not not really. I I I don't hate anybody that I don't know in personal life. <laughs> but the tone and the way. We're going to talk about that. And some of the just great, like, I, a lot of people, that's where I'm going to disagree with a lot of people. A lot of 
people say forced the vote was a failure. I think it was like a hundred percent success because it was supposed to be a performative vote to show who's like a faker and who's not a yeah. faker. And it's like before even getting to that <laughs> level, it showed that okay, who's fake? <laughs> like everyone's a faker. So and you know, I it's just great when you see like real time. Just uh, anyway, uh, yeah, just no. bad analysis. So a lot of the show is going to be this stuff and uh, also. Oh, Revolutionary Black Network stuff. They got to be this. And the Vanguard Boys and actually did a really we, good coverage, which Vanguard I pretty boys much agreed with everything that they said well, about in, Force to Vote. Interesting. Did you watch the Revolutionary Black Network? No. Oh, they. Uh, it's very interesting. Did you did you get the, to the part of the Vanguard Boys about Jimmy Dore and Crystal yeah. Ball? Did yeah. you get to that point? All which, right. So I, they heavily disagree with them. Yeah, yeah, I tried to listen but, what Crystal Ball was saying a few times, but my, sometimes it, my ears just, just refuse. So, so I'm just like yeah. blindly following the Vanguard Boys' point on that. So, I think maybe, <laughs> certain just certain accents. It's very hard to listen. To. Oh, but, um, anyway. Oh, also in the Dana White the saga. Side, this was your suggestion. Rock the you MMA world. Dana, Dana White, who's <laughs> Yes, yes. We should talk more about this stuff. We have a lot of viewers that I think are into this. Like two, Ardy, but yeah. <laughs> exactly. Ardy. Oh, actually, is he MMA? Oh, he's not the guy who's WWE guy? Yeah, no, no. He, that that's Vince guy. McMahon. This is the MMA guy. Vince McMahon. Oh, so I don't have anything to say, but I told you I have something to say about this. I have. No... I mean, you can bring Vince McMahon. <laughs> it's not that... Um... Unrelated, Difficult? if you want. Okay, is there? I mean, after that, I'll, I'll give you. Harassment? I'm sure he has so many. <laughs> he decided to quit for some reason last year. I can't remember what. <laughs> but no, he, he his case is probably far, oh, far, far Man? worse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In general, yeah, but I'll give you an overview of the situation, really... yeah, and then I guess yeah. we'll no, but... we'll judge it. Mm. We'll. I have to say, this is dangerous territory, though. We are entering Joe Rogan market now. <laughs> commenting on UFC. <laughs> Another and... fun topic we're going to discuss is who's published a book. I cannot say, like, the royal, like, the royal family has to somehow, seriously, like, we need to come up with a plan for this motherfucker. Like, uh, I, he, I, he put out his kill list. So uh, I heard he's choked three Talibanis before, killed 25, that, and injured two cats really? as well. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> injured two cats. <laughs> they were Taliban <laughs> cats, I tell you. Taliban cats. <laughs> they believed in the extreme version of Islam. <laughs> <laughs> They were those cats that would not walk on Quran. Have you heard about that? <laughs> the cat Quran challenge. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god. What a little loser. Just the disappointment. Just the I mean, ro British royal family among the institutions remaining from the times that I really come from. I'm trying to feel maybe last... you actually come from that time. Because I feel like from the day that I met you, I... you like pretty much look the same. And all this in some ways, actually, well, you've changed a bit, like, yeah. Added, but maybe that's like, just a all a show. Was added and so maybe you're actually like, yeah, from maybe. like God knows when, and you just don't age. <laughs> I'm a time traveler. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one one of our friends here who used to say that, that they thought I was like I was literally in a box and I yeah. like like a little Yoda. I just, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, uh, this guy, man, I just, King Charles needs to, and I love, I must say, King Charles right now, my favorite monarch. Uh, <laughs> his Christmas message was amazing. Oh, yeah. he's, he's awesome. But yeah, he, yeah, he talked about inequality and all that. And Climate if they change. let him, man, he's not it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think, oh, he loves 
Go ahead. He loves mm-hmm. uh, climate change. Climate <laughs> changing, he loves it. Seasons change, goes crazy. No, but he, lo- he loves nature and all that. So, yeah, this, we have to talk about this little bl- brat and his little no, I like him. And the brat. Yeah, I like him and his I, wife. I, 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 no, man, I hate. You made a good choice. Uh, his wife so is uh, accomplished. <laughs> Yes, yes. It, uh, yeah, I, I would say that. <laughs> like that was a wise decision. I think it was something <laughs> worth yeah. breaking up with his family over her. Is <laughs> I don't know but... about that. But... <laughs> 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 yeah, but I, I just did. Uh, I, I, no man. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I hate fucking rats, and he's a little fucking rat. I hate. <laughs> I, I look man like what like these revelations he's making about the royal family as if like nobody we all know what kind of family royal family is it's <laughs> yeah like they, but i mean that's I his business they now. refer to their family the firm <laughs> oh yeah being a rat yeah of course that's his business is being a rat and yeah but i don't like rats mm-hmm. like ugh. Ugh. anyway i watched black adam which I went in with the lowest expectation possible. I was just putting it on because I was like cleaning the room and shit. And I wanted something in the background that didn't require sort of, you know, and it was surprisingly really good. I talk about it more, but very good. I would say in Iran, there has been a couple of actually huge developments there was some. There was a speech by the supreme leader that seems like a sort of a, a, a huge sort of a uh, what do you call it retreat uh, for the establishment in Iran, a huge retreat. But I don't know why no. But well, mm-hmm. I kind of know why nobody covers it. It's it's because it's good for nobody's business. Not not the anti-Islamic Republic side. Not Islamic Republic side either because it's like selling out their values. But anyway. And also a couple of prisoners. She, she was released. She's one of the... I, I would... And Ali Da'i, Mani, Hariri, Tarana, Ali Dusti, and Ali Da'i are really the leaders of the revolution right now. And she went to prison for, I think, about a month and a half. She was released on bail of a heap, like an enormous bail. Uh, and these people are, you, you are uniquely, I think, positioned to be leaders and stuff because... They all have, you know, they all have many possibilities to leave Iran. Uh, two of them, I'm sure, have I, one of them, Mani Hayri, I'm sure, has a dual citizenship. So it, it's just them staying in Iran and going to prison. And then again, this is, for example, this was pointed out in Iran: uh, the man touching a woman mm. is illegal in Iran. So, like, you know, it happens all the time. Don't get me wrong. But it's just, like, technically, it's illegal. Mm-hmm. So, it's not in pictures or in cinema movies. You never see it. But, like, no, like, this is kind of... Everybody is not giving a shit, basically, anymore. So, that's great. And, and uh, we have an amazing... Uh, and a second episode of uh, Mike and Darren came out. And it's yeah, amazing. True. I didn't watch first that. episode or even more. Man, the second episode is... I'll play just a bit for you. So we're definitely going to talk about that a bit. Um, and some stuff from Sublation Media and stuff will be mentioned. Maybe not talk too much about. Yeah. But I guess that's about it. Yeah. And I'm of course, down today below. we're going to have viewers so, comments. Yeah. Oh. So let's good. go to the viewer comments, actually. Let's just start off viewers, with this. <laughs> just viewers comments. It's not. No, let's see. Oh, oh, there's one with Bobby. And then, <laughs> oh, you reply. Where, where are your replies? It's at oh, the, yeah, it's at the bottom, yeah. So Ro- Bobby says that. <laughs> what he says? Sorry, my eyes. It, are it, so Bobby says it is becoming that obvious. You're not focusing on you. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. It is becoming talking. obvious that the purpose of this channel is to air your views, taste, personalities, and relationship rather than covering stories which listeners might find interesting. So, I mean, I, I do think Bobby has a point, but you know what my point is? At this point, I honestly, like, I don't know any. Six months ago, seven months ago, I had an idea what our <laughs> our 2,000 viewers liked. But nowadays, honestly, like, I'm not too sure anymore. <laughs> like, if That's- I wanted to, like, cover, okay, fine, force the vote, I know, right? Okay, this week, 
we got lucky. There's forced to vote. Probably half the people on our channel came through <laughs> forced to vote. But putting that aside, like I honestly don't know uh, any more kind of even what our viewers would like more or not. Because I mean, yeah, I, I would mean... say like 50% of the stuff that we put in there are still stuff that I would imagine our viewers like. But even that, I'm not... I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Which yeah. would you would you put Joe Rogan and stuff in the things that viewers like or you know Joe Rogan has mind, always right? been a weird one from the get go, right? Like you yeah. would imagine everybody that we know jo likes Joe Rogan, but I don't. I can't remember one Joe Rogan video we've ever done that did well. So there's also the ones that I don't know YouTube doesn't like or something. You don't. In my head, I feel like there's a Venn diagram. There's what we like. There's what the audience like, and then there's what YouTube likes, and then you gotta hit like that right middle sweet spot for everything to work. If not, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I mean, I would. I think what YouTube likes. I after some time, and again, I'm not saying because I think there is like oh, it's somebody's shadow banning people or anything. I just assume YouTube. I if I were YouTube. If I were the CEO of YouTube, I would try to put politics increasingly on a shittier algorithm and make like the engineers that sort out the glitches fewer. You know, that's what I would yeah. have done. So I think the YouTube part is bigger because I do feel like we did do like suggestions people made. Like, you know, uh, we did yeah. do them like shorter no, videos yeah. we did. Yeah. We did try to repeat like, I mean, we didn't do the repeat thing for too long, but we did, like you know doing the mm. similar pro like same program exactly like, same sort of topic at week after week yeah so and I, yeah 50 percent of the time i would say like we kind of pick what the viewers like and 50 percent mm. is fine it's stuff that they probably don't know and we just bring in so bobby certainly has a point there and that's why i said um yeah, i feel that, like bobby I will try to cater a bit more i mean you know we could focus more and more on what just what I think the audience would potentially well, like. Well, that's that's but where I want to Not get even to. sure what it is that the audience would would like. Like, yeah, but that's 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 a debate we've been having. Debate. <laughs> I don't. I actually think to be honest that we've had this debate before. But you kind of, I think, lean on the side of dabbling down on the niche sort of thing. Yeah. That I don't know. I uh, that's why I keep trying to do movie reviews and shit a lot and. You know, I keep mm. thinking maybe it's just we reached the sort of the <laughs> limit of this sort of progressive sort of. But we've tried I, other I'm stuff, just... but every time we try other stuff, yeah, too, that doesn't work either. We're never able to continue. Like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, even that one had some weird irregularities, which I that... didn't understand. Like, make well, one video today, all good gets four thousand votes. Yeah. Another extremely similar video the next day, a hundred. Then again, the well, next one, fine, was, 2000. I, and that was like the king think, of consistencies. But just try to do like something a little bit different and it would just suddenly not work. I think that's had to do. I think there are a couple of like keywords that when they're so popular, like mm. YouTube gives them exception from algorithm or something. <laughs> so I think for yeah. one week, Amber, until it became, <laughs> okay, now we got, we know who, who are the suckers. <laughs> cut them off, cut them off. So I, 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 yeah. yeah, but so I, yeah, that's why like I, yeah, I don't know. I like to try, yeah, but I either a strategy. Like I kept, I tried to look at the, numbers for other channels to do sort of benchmarking and shit i mean you can't really you know what i like the only the closest thing is vanguard and even they sort of it's hard to make comparisons so you know yeah and, and i mean the vanguard boys that i always check and they're also like completely stuck um subscription -wise. oh yeah but bad faith uh, that's another thing other check bad faith was also stuck or and she has the same problems as just soon went as down. As soon as Brianna does a video that's not like with one of the more popular progressive guys, it does like only mm. like two or four thousand views. And then her next video does 20,000 views because it's like, you know, like the, the perfect guy. So even they're just the, the variation is so much and our views are so little that the video goes from, you know, getting a few views to becoming like completely pointless. Like, so I think this trend mm. just applies to everyone and everywhere. But 
I guess our audience pool is so small that just sometimes the video like, what the hell? I yeah I sometimes yeah sometimes I I fear that's the real <laughs> sort of, like this is the maximum one <laughs> but um uh, yeah mm. I would say do you think our relative shift away from or self imposed sort of boycott <laughs> of <laughs> useful idiots gray zone that type of thing do you think that I don't know. Do you want no, to? No, unless Aaron I, Matte. I, I mean, no, he's the only one. But I mean, Aaron Matte has to be involved in something juicy for us to then cover it. So that happens like once or twice a year. He's one of the weirdest, most reliable things about this, about this channel that I must say. Like anytime something like weird happened with him and you cover it for some YouTubers. Oh, I think Aaron Matt is a cousin or something works at YouTube. So he's put like one <laughs> bug into like the news for guys. He's like, okay, if Aaron's name comes, put him on the good algorithm. Then everybody there. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's the last time we had a good boom is when the Vanguard boys, thank you boys. Oh yes. Decided to go <laughs> ape shit thank on you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> I tag Iron Man his mom and the way yeah, he eats soup or something. Why didn't Aaron, you physically why did attack you give my birth to Jackson Jim? <laughs> What's his name, Jackson? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, and now the Vanguard that. boys seem to have gone sane since then. So I think that's an avenue that's, well, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. gone. Or... I was... No, I, I was thinking, do you remember before we even started this, like, do you remember my original ideas? For oh, yeah. Podcast? yeah, so far away from that, <laughs> which was to read like scientific <laughs> papers and discuss like the Russian Revolution. <laughs> You see, I am pretty sure you're from a different but, century. You're like, back in my day, this was popular. <laughs> like, when? <laughs> when the Russian Revolution actually happened? <laughs> Russian Revolution <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> if you hashtag the word Russian Revolution, that's it. <laughs> Millions of views. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, no, but I, I had an other ideas, though. I don't know if you remember besides the scientific paper one. I was thinking that one, uh, maybe viewers would be into it. I wanted to do a game show, oh. like the British <laughs> style, you know, like comedy game shows they want to okay. do. But we were two of us, so I couldn't get more people. But uh, but now that we have like some viewers, that would like do it like a trivia quiz fun show, like the British style, but with progressive topics. Hmm. You know, what do you think about that? Like, you know, like a, like a intellect, like this quote is from who? Like, yeah, is there, but I guess you'd have to do then, that live, right? Yeah, I guess so. I was, I, yeah, I which is a big barrier for us, or unless we do it on a Sunday, because on a Sunday, oh. that's possible. Because if you, I guess, if you just imagine that people would be home around 11 a.m. New York time and listening to it, I, yeah, uh, unless we get a couple of our viewers who are from. UK or I know yeah. we have a few. <laughs> it comes on YouTube. <laughs> so or yeah, yeah, but because um, our spike happens yeah, very I, late I at I, night. Yeah. If it when it does happen, when a video does get views, it happens very late at night. The it UK, happens like US around morning, right? No, 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 no. Around like nine PM California time, which is, you know, almost yeah, like Oh, I was thinking like midnight, okay. one AM, yeah, New York time. Oh really? Okay, I, I because it always happens. That's very, I guess, my early for late. you. Yeah, you know, your morning. Yeah, it's it's yeah, yeah. I'm it's like three in the morning. I'm like, oh, this is late. But yeah. No, that's <laughs> like early next day. <laughs> but um, but yeah, yeah. Anyways, okay. But yeah, Bobby, we'll but, yeah, try. I, I mean, game show thing we try. People, let us know, please. And yeah, but I oh, and Victoria, I think said, Victoria, I thought said, or somebody said. Oh yeah, I mean no, it, it's uh, uh go up. Yeah, no, DBRH. She's the one who said, you know, that they enjoy our random things that come up and people like them and all this. 
No, no, but uh, I, but unfortunately, Victoria said I often come away wondering the reasons for certain opinions they hold. I, I feel like we over explain if any, <laughs> anything. I thought we are like people's ear. Oh, again, they're mm-hmm. talking about this, their view. So I, uh, yeah, I don't know. And you know, just, just yeah, that's yeah, that's that was and. Uh, okay, any other comments you want to take a look at? This specific? one's for you. I don't know. TCT's comments are always for you. Sometimes I wonder, like, is this actually for... Oh, which one? <laughs> what did we do? Was this topic covered in the previous video? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay. I wasn't involved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any part of this shit. <laughs> Then you might as well. Yeah, I'm all for open borders, but in a world where we have, like, 3 billion people, but as it is now, I guess it is what. It is. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I love the comment of my boy just built out of cynicism and chaos. Whatever. Okay, it's half accurate. I would say. Uh... <laughs> it's long-term optimism. Very like cynicism of this hundred years. <laughs> like after that, I don't know. Uh... Oh, by the way, is it? Do we have the Chapo Trap House guy in our lineup? Oh yeah, we okay. well uh, yes, we can talk about that. But yeah, we have where. Sorry, I'm just looking for the. Oh, uh that's she Nebraskan said. Don't understand the critique. Oh yeah, of forgot Green, about the of Greenwald for being a, on Rumble. It wasn't so much that it was more critical of Rumble. I would say no, no, I that wasn't your critique. Yeah, no, you it was more like an inconvenience oh, yeah. thing. Your criticism, which was like. Hey, yeah, I'm yeah, always on lazy. YouTube really and <laughs> Glenn keeps on trying to send us to Rumble. And then I added that, yeah, yeah the Rumble true. user experience isn't the easiest and best to tease people yet Been too there. much. But yeah, that was just from a, um user experience point of view. If not, otherwise, yeah, for sure. Put no, and, uh, how yeah, content and, blows up everywhere I, in different places. I doubt it. That would be more fun for me. Yeah, and I... But I generally do disagree with the whole uh, strategy of uh, uh, diversifying media landscape. I think even Sam Cedar is more on that side of sort of they are not for, I, I assume, I think, because of what I know from Glenn Greenwald, he's more on the libertarian sort of, I believe in a sort of nationalized media. That would be Oh, yeah. I'm not even option. talking about strategy and all that. I mean, no, listen, the reason oh, Glenn okay. Greenwald is on yeah, Rumble the, is because they gave him a contract, yeah. which is which makes complete sense. And I'm just saying, like, sure, if no, Rumble... I think he's also, like, wants to promote alternative platforms type thing. Sure. But, I mean, I, they, like, they both sure, they also the work. Is... I mean, if I was in his place, I would have done the same thing. You know, Substack is not so alternative. A Substack offers something completely different than YouTube. So it makes sense for you to have a Substack thing. And on Rumble, yeah, he got, like, a contract and stuff. He went there. So, I mean, I don't know how much of it is ideological. Perhaps it's ideological. I think well. I don't I, I don't think it's hundred percent ideological, but I think he would he like prefers it this way, perhaps it worked out. But anyway, uh, I would also add she Nebraskan has uh, some best sort of movie taste. Mm. If we do a game show, maybe we can do a movie <laughs> game show because she's she likes Rake, which is the Australian TV show, very few people Craig very few only the you know, only the people with a very clo- very good eye for comedy. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, yeah. it's not so for Bobby everybody. was wrong. You do cater. You just cater to like two people who happen to like something that <laughs> something. <laughs> so now you found the reason <laughs> the to just talk about this shows. Australian TV show, <laughs> which got canceled in Australia well, probably after two seasons. <laughs> Look, five. <laughs> oh, not bad. It, the first three are <laughs> just amazing but uh, but it was one of the reasons i had a huge soft spot and perhaps i still do for matt tavy and katie alper was that they are both fans of that show too it's generally mm. the best it's i mean especially like it was so much ahead of its time in many ways but um, anyway anyway i love that show but uh, so, yeah, so I thought, yeah, any other comments? And oh, by the way, RD is still not letting us know what was the name of that movie. But hopefully one day. No, he said he found it on YouTube. You know, the, but he did, yeah, but he didn't say what's the name. Uh. He said if he 
finds the name or link, he'll send it to us. Uh, oh, what? wait. I what? swear Government? some of these comments I hadn't seen. Where are they from? Have... Yeah, man, I since I found out about YouTube Studios, like comment thingy, it's so many of the, like they don't come as emails. A lot of them replies, a lot of government family planning i will need to have at least three kids to breed above the birth rate so that my people survive so if a government tried to stop that then it would literally be genocide <laughs> sure buddy sure whatever i mean this person is talking about the israeli case um specifically so i guess that's how you israeli case what, what yeah do you mean? wasn't the word israel somewhere there Oh no 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 no! Go back to the comments. Sorry, I guess I just government van. I will have to at least do above the bridge. Oh no, never mind. I just added Israel. Are you are you anti-Semitic? No, no, I'm the opposite. I thought the person was trying to make a point that you know, um, in Israel, if we don't have three kids above the birth rate, you know, I don't. I thought I don't know where I got Israel from. You know, because of like population and all that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Let's keep an eye, close eye on Jamir from now on. Let's see if he sees the hidden hand of Israel. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, Stephen uh, Blowbomb leaves pretty cool comments. Yeah, yeah that's... I Iranians moving in 70s, they were the cool Iranians. I love this Anyways, one. Our so dog cool. is 85 pounds of anxiety. <laughs> I mean, this the tiny dog. No, oh, that's a man, big dog. Eighty five pounds is yeah. forty kilos. Oh, that's you're right. That's almost my <laughs> <laughs> fucking. That's a big dog. Yeah. So he's like, he's like a big stressed out dog. Lord. Oh, poor, poor doggy. <laughs> uh, dogs right. are so funny. No, oh, this one is quite funny. You guys are good role models <laughs> for the young. I think because we talk so much about role models. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, take you. Touche. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, do you remember anything else? No, no, that's it. I think that's a good coverage. Yeah. All right. Sorry if I missed something or whatever. But yeah, it's you to like for comments, you have to look in three different <laughs> places. The emails and, are oh. like different comments. And replies, replies to our comments will not show up in the yeah, YouTube that's studio. What I... That one you have to go in like YouTube normally and then it shows up. Yes, unlike, yes. Unlike, oh, yeah. I, mentioning that, I did, I, I would have went a bit because it was really funny. On Did you see, maybe you did and ignored it because I got in, I replied to some of the old comments I when I, like from ages ago about Iran. Mm. I have a filter I was, on I was my computer. Nothing on was... Iran shows up. <laughs> it's a safari widget you add. It just blocks <laughs> Iran. <laughs> H. I hate... Like, man, last week I was so... Like, it was so funny to me that January 6th coverage makes you so angry. But I'm like, yeah, in Iran they're killing young people on the streets. And you're like... Yeah, yeah, that sounds about, you know, normal. <laughs> no, no, but that's a real important story. January 6th pisses me off because how stupid it is. <laughs> I have to again. But yeah, uh, the, I was so funny, man. I have the screenshots, but I didn't have time to send it to, to us. It's fucking a slow internet. Uh, yeah, it was so funny because there was somebody who was like a pro Iranian protesters, but one of those psycho Masih Halinejad types, you know, that wants basically Iran to be bombed. And he was accusing me, or she was accusing me of uh, living in the past <laughs> whenever I replied to them. And then it was somebody else who was an Islamic report. You remember it was the same guy who talked about two day party or some shit. And the, that guy was like one of those guys who said that all the protest in Iran is CIA and it's CIA is trying to do this, blah, blah, blah. And again, he, uh, I swear to God, he was also accusing me of living in the past. You live <laughs> in the past where the world was like that and it's not. <laughs> I don't like. I think they all agree with you. I don't belong. <laughs> I don't belong to now. Well, I, I belong to somewhere past. Not now, for sure. Not now. But alternate universe in the past. <laughs> alternate universe in the past. That's different enough. Yeah. <laughs>
Alrighty, Sam. So let's ease our way into some of this content. So Kim Iverson did a little coverage of Kevin we'll McCarthy. Sugar rush. <laughs> I guess th- this is from when I think they were only on like the eighth or ninth vote. So yes, yes, this is reason. just before. Yeah, yeah, he got. Um, but man, like you know, I guess there's nothing. We don't need to explain happens. what happened here, so we can maybe get uh, straight oh, away I, into our I opinions. Oh, you want to explain? Go ahead. I want to explain a bit. <laughs> and Chapel Trap House guys do a good uh, cover of this as well. Uh, quite funny. But yeah, um, was... uh, Quackmire and his gang of friends <laughs> managed to <laughs> manage to uh, prevent Kevin, dear Kevin here, from achieving his dreams in record uh, time. So <laughs> took him like a week. And now he can, according to the concessions they've given, now he can be sort of uh, basically they can I think call it what I would call a no confidence vote that's the sort of British mm-hmm. vernacular I think on the speaker sort of with one person just yeah. calling it which was something that Nancy Pelosi had sort of uh, she had I don't know if it was one congress or one representative from that side could have called a no confidence vote before or it was it was, I think it might have been certain percentage but anyways uh, so now Kevin is very much uh, his leash is in the hands of Quagmire, very much like <laughs> in the Family Guy sexual escapades that Quagmire got into. <laughs> Which I love it, man. I love it. Well done. Now listen, what are those people who are well holding their Quagmire. vote? <laughs> if they, you know exactly, their you know their jokes and their pathetic and have bad intentions and all that, but overall They're it was. Fighters. Yeah, it was interesting to see. And, you know, and of course, I heard mainstream, I've heard because I didn't see it, but I heard mainstream media coverage was that like, oh, look how much they're in disarray. This is so bad and all that. Like, I mean, I guess everybody can interpret situations however they want, but (laughs) I would have thought that's like a very good, quote unquote, showing of democracy if, you know, you're just negotiating over some things before Uh. you, you, you know, you vote for someone. Not that it's the biggest, most important thing in the world, but how you can see it as a bad no, no, thing. No, 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 that I kinda, hate that term. That kind of puzzles me. Or negotiation or whatever, or being like a politician who's, you know, who's yes. pursuing Sport some fashion. kind of agenda uh, for one reason or another. Now, the reason behind the agenda might not be good or might the agenda so itself much. might not be good. That's different. But <laughs> just the act itself. No, I, I don't see how you can criticize the act Um itself really from that point of view yeah i mean look exactly it's like look you might that's what it's supposed to be right like i mean that's what you're supposed to do in parliament or congress or whatever yeah it's like you might be against sort of i don't know cats eating rats (laughs) right but you see one cat that successfully eats a rat and you're like well done and then there's another cat that fucks it up every time like the rat owns his ass and that's those are the cats that are democrats but uh uh, no i just didn't like the good showing of democracy i hate that um, a lot of people have been saying that but they might have seen work I just I don't know what the fuck they mean by democracy. Whenever they clarify that, we can talk. And yeah. I, by the way, that is. Um, I would say though, this ultimately, and I connect this to Mike and Darren video, which is the best video ever, probably that has ever produced. And I'm not exaggerating at all. <laughs> it it gets into the like fundamental fact that democratic, I think, politicians and even activists and even to a, huge extent a lot of people on the left of american politics are just you know they don't believe in like fighting as a Mm. real you know they believe in discussion and uh, it's very very civil discussion sort of consensus sort of politics yeah and also i mean you know just after republicans though yeah i mean and if we're talking about the media people who cover them i mean you know they're just i guess they're just pathetic people just like us because they just they refuse to understand such an easy thing they only because pacific. of those mistakes that they make two years ago and how much of a fool they made themselves two years ago over what would happen in the process if they tried to, you know, hold up. Well, uh, and what's her name? You know, I'm talking about people like Anna Kasparin and Jank and Sam Cedar. You know, they got something so obviously and factually wrong that if you tried to force the vote oh. here, that it would go to Republican, that... 
now they just they just have to stick by their position just so they don't you know embarrass themselves even more at least in their eyes don't embarrass themselves so much that they just speak so much nonsense so there's also no sorry yeah when you said more pathetic than us i kind of because that's why i was a bit confused who you're talking about because i would say like jake tapper and his stuff at least they get i don't know million dollars whatever <laughs> yeah. they get a huge amount of like good money really these anna Kespe and stuff yeah you like i would say we are less pathetic than mm-hmm. them like for that money i wouldn't you know what i mean like yeah. like well, like for what are you trying to maintain like it's it's it reminds me when chapo trap house guys make fun of sopranos which is mm-hmm. i think it's true it's such a reflection of our time all around that just like it's the end of ma- mafia right so it's just like you know five guys <laughs> like in a garage like debating over like three thousand dollars like they make maximum they make five thousand dollars per month or something like barely break even except like one of them. yeah yeah that's true. So, hey, it's just pathetic it's just like mm. you know like yeah that that's like at least if you're that you know if you have that level of if you yeah. our level of viewers or our level of influence don't sell out and they barely have like more than i mean i really like hope me, anna's getting like, paid for her own sake because if i was if i were to give anna any advice money. i'd be I don't like know how much money i'd be like you have if... tyt and jank by the balls i mean whether people like like <laughs> anna's coverage or not she is Literally more than 50 percent <laughs> of tyt <laughs> so if i was her i would like you know I would ask for her. I would ask to get as paid What's as much as Jenk makes. By the way, I mean, and she's Anna can get a job somewhere time. else if she wanted to, man. In a media, and even I mainstream, I think she would just have to suck a few. You know, she would just have to suck up one or two times, do two or three strategic interviews, and I think they would, you know, they would see if they if she would, you know, stay on their side, Play if ball. they can trust her or yeah. not. They would give her a little trial. Because eh, she's good looking and st- she can make it happen. And I believe that, you know, in the past she was made offers and she, uh, b- when she says that, that, you know, she was given good offers by MSNBC and stuff and that she's, and that she said no. I I believe that. I can I mean, see that being yeah. feasible. Okay. Fe- yeah, feasible, yes. But I hard to pull off at this point with the media companies all shedding uh, you know, it's it's not a boom period. No, Just it's still they have. Okay, think, sure. I I mean, maybe know. I don't know. Maybe not today, but whenever the boom period comes back in like <laughs> six months, but Doing or it. never. <laughs> so I think she has options. Send us your CV. <laughs> not Sam Cedar. I don't know Sam Cedar. <laughs> How is he paying these people on no, his no, show? That, that is that, <laughs> that's that beyond motherfucker. That Where motherfucker that actually comes from. <laughs> has more options because he has connections. That yeah, asshole. Sure. Like I mean, Anna. I'm sure Anna has too. But he's in Vanguard. Boys pointed out, and it holds me off so much that he actually like knows real comedians and like. Yeah. No, I meant him offering a job to Anna. Like the go- he's fucking warm yeah oh no, no, yeah offering a job i don't oh, know where he yeah, would get well, the money for that i, guess... <laughs> I don't know where he oh, gets yeah, the no. money at all for that whole production <laughs> but that's a, that's a different well, from story. his voiceover work and <laughs> his friends throwing him like shitty jobs here and and i and, and i guess majority report was on peacock at some point so i'm guessing he's got some yeah sponsors. but i mean you know you businesses have you know always have costs so there's no way that peacock money from like two years ago there's still some left to i don't know no no cover their costs but yeah all righty sam so i think that just cut got cut off at the perfect time so let's continue with the show brianna here meet the meat of the show this is the body of the essay Uh, uh, yes (laughs) dressed like a (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Dress like a for some reason. I, this is really what? The, who does the again? Somebody on the hill. They need to get a fucking <laughs> costume. Uh, Dress like a school girl from like Catholic uh, primaries yeah. or something. She did a great video in which she pointed out that first the vote would have worked in all likelihood, considering that. We see how it not the, uh, like and work the vote in what I hate these disingenuous people who like they're like oh would have worked we would have <clears> had <throat> Medicare immediately no of course yeah no if the only thing was to get Medicare you weren't get Medicare but 
the idea of negotiating and getting Would something i don't know maybe agenda. paper straws instead of plastic straws whatever it may oh. maybe it might have been something as meaningless as that but yeah i mean yeah, <laughs> something you know like uh, yeah exactly it's um and and I would say it would have had like the most important part of it would have been the media game, mm. but they don't want to play that media game. They want to play mm. a different, they want to play like a, uh, they want to play a, you know, we are very helpful kids, but yeah. we, no, we they don't want to play you know, the confrontational yeah. game. They don't want to, no, that, that, exactly. that was part of the confrontational yeah. strategy. So maybe at the end of two You're years or four about years, future of you might not get too much either. You might, but you might get a little bit, but just have that confrontational strategy instead, which is something that they didn't pick. And, and why would they pick? Man, AOC the is, I mean, that's all a lie. She's, she's of course building up towards becoming a real, like, you know, a real, real Democrat and then become like, you know, proper oh, establishment president. Democrat. Yeah. So, I mean, it's yeah, not like, even in her interest to play that game. So it's understandable. Why would you play too much of a confrontational game when that's not even your objective? Well, it wasn't, I mean, it was, to me, it was, I hated her, but <laughs> I would say still there wasn't enough evidence in the cabinet to completely, before they forced the vote thing. Yeah. After the first vote thing, yeah, it became hundred percent clear. And then there was the Iron Dome. Then there was the blah blah. But yeah, I mean, if, yeah. So they don't. I, so in many ways, again, I would say first vote was hundred percent successful. It showed basically it's just that yeah, who's in, who's out. Yeah. No? no, am I wrong? It showed so many things. I mean, I think it's. Just, I think like all the criticisms, except win. the disingenuous one, which is that oh, you would get Medicare for it. Okay. If someone was saying would force the vote, you know, will turn America into like a socialist country, then fine. They were talking shit. But um, all the other ones, I think they've been nicely proven and shown. OK, sorry about that. We're back. So, yes, yeah, Sam, I think I think you heard what I said, really, which was I was like, okay, fine. It, besides the disingenuous ones, which was like, yeah, with you know, we'll turn America into socialist country with first vote <laughs> and Medicare the next day. I should. <laughs> if someone was saying those things, yeah, no. But it just as a general strategy of making some noise, negotiating something small, some media coverage, getting people on the record, these kind of small things, I think they were nicely shown. I mean, like I said, it's not that we saw something similar to force the vote, literally saw like the exact thing that was like, you know, suggested take place. I mean, it, wasn't like a case study an example it was like the thing with different the only thing that was different was that you know different people and quote unquote a different party republican versus Dem democrats but the same process in the same place for the exact same thing you know it wasn't even for like a, another position or like you know something slightly different it was literally the same thing i couldn't like believe how and then you know we'll get to anna making it seem like you know, Brianna well, might have before brought... that. Yeah, we'll get to that. No, before that, I just wanted to say a couple of things before. In this video, I really appreciate both in this video and in Twitter, though Brianna Gregory is very clear about the nuances. Because again, I come back to this, like this vitriol and hatred for David Soroto. I never understood. And she points out again on the first vote, he was a supporter. And so I don't understand this unnecessary sort of hatred that is to, towards certain people, maybe because they're successful or maybe because they're white or something. And I'll get to who and what I mean. But yeah, she was very, very perfectly nuanced. She called out Sam Cedar, which I really appreciated because of his factual inaccuracies. Like it's, it's again, the lawyer in her is the best part of her, I feel. Whenever, like, she waited for the right moment to bring up the case, and it just perfectly happened. It was perfect. She had everything ready. It was just like, you know, it's when you have a good lawyer, they do act like. So it was a, I don't know, I really appreciate it. But before going to, um, and by the way, the, she had Thomas Frank on, great historian. Before going to the criticism, I thought we briefly just mentioned this. Uh, Clearly on the same day from the dress code, but yeah, <laughs> what's she, <that> true? <laughs> uh, and I think what he perfectly pointed out is that uh, if you look at 
in American history, he focuses, but it's just look at history in general. You find that just gener- like this again, this in mainstream media, at least in Guardian, in this type of thing, that this general uh, appeal to niceness, to civility, to oh, let no, let's not, you know, shake the oh, look, Nancy said she will promise, you know, and stuff. She did no, you have to get a fucking blood promise. You I like this? Is, it's you know, it's there is no civility in politics. Politics is fright like it's. It's a battle over ideologies, really, like at, at the end, like in a very, very distanced way. So mm. there's no civility. It's just the, it's the rule of the fucking jungle, motherfuckers. I don't. So um, and he points it out, like within the American context, um, with the populists and Republicans, and then they go on get into his favorite fucking topic, oh. the populist party, which mm. I'm not a big fan of. And I think he's, I read his books and everything, but I do think he exaggerates their achievements and their possibilities. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, uh, but it was really fun to listen to. It was fantastic to listen to. And, yeah, it hadn't um, been a while. It, this, to it be honest, been a lot while. I only listened to the first 10 or 15 minutes, but it cracked me up because he immediately yes. went to Kansas. Kansas. And he <laughs> said, that he said well, let me tell you about my favorite place, Kansas. I mean, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. That's what we do with Iran, to be honest. So I mean, I do with Iran. I don't. You don't do it. As much, but man, so. you know, you said something right. interesting. Though you remember once I told you about a professor who gave a definition for politics, and you poo pooed all over it, but you just gave the well, same. Well, but then I remember after that, I clarified it, and you you calmed down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Did I? All right. Which he said, which is kind of what you explained. Middle of me, do you remember that time that asshole that you hate said something and you exactly said the same? I have the video, Sagar, you know, say you don't like him, huh? Here you go, it says the exact word for word. (laughs) No, but like about that politics, which part his definition was that politics, no, politics, he said, is like you know, the the settlement of like differences and ideologies and all this without resorting to war. Like until before you get into like actual like war, physical violence, that's politics. And I guess that's how you kind of defined it here too. Cause you know, negotiated and battled over different ideologies and you were like, you know, that's politics. I have to be say that neither me nor the professor (laughs) were being, uh, very original. It's uh, Cloud Switch. Yeah, I think, perhaps. Said politics is extension of war by other means. Mm. Or was it war is extension of politics? By other... <laughs> I forget yeah, the same thing, around. though, but same thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, true. No, but which one? Yeah. Yeah. I don't so, know. Are, I don't know that one, but it's the same. No, 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 no. I don't know about that one, but it's the same. <laughs> Did I shut on Cloud Switch? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the Sometimes same idea. I lose it to Germans. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> But anyway, fantastic video. If anybody's interested in like political history of how Congress stuff works, that type of thing. Then we get, go to oh oh before that before that sorry sorry I wanted to so you don't agree with what he let's listen it just for a few one minute. Claiming that the squad could have gotten Medicare for all if they had just forced the vote, and it's just exhausting. Honestly, you have to be the dumbest person in the world. Uh, Camier, that's what you were claiming, right? That if they exactly. did that, the Socialist Republic of USA would have been <laughs> announced <And> by... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why did you subscribe Just... to his channel live on air here? Did I? Yeah. Did I subscribe? How did I... When did that, I... that little thing I... that showed up, that little icon. Oh, how did I... Oh, I... Uh, uh, man, this computer with the <laughs> trackpad. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't. No, I you just unsubscribe right now. Oh wait. No, I. Oh, no, you man. hadn't. Okay, you my are, bad. You, you are a <laughs> goddamn. You are an agent. You're an agent. <laughs> you're trying to. You're trying to add subscribers to this shit show. <laughs> Infiltrate saboteur saboteur. Man, he's oh, so disingenuous, God. and he's I can't believe. He's and his producer sits worst. there and acts all disingenuous too, where he's like a good. Yeah, kid in I, other I, I don't like him at all anymore. I don't, yeah. Huh? Sorry? He's a decent kid in other, or or do I always get him confused with the other guy? Sorry, I always get him confused with the mustache kid from... uh... He's that kid. Oh, he is that kid. I don't know. I think he was until... He's a naughty boy when he comes on the majority. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> he has yeah, a good his heart, parents... but I feel like here he's corrupted. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> his parents need to, you know, regulate his friends a bit more. <laughs> like, yeah, just... Except this just is probably the only sit. place he actually gets paid. So I don't know if they want to actually... <laughs> All right, no, fair enough. So yeah, no, actually okay, keep whatever. your day job. <laughs> so, yeah. Just whatever. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just this whole thing the, with David, that's more or yeah. We get to the yeah, yeah. I, I, this is extremely disingenuous. If it's like, I can't believe like, and to maintain relationship with what if if level celebrity celebrity? No, but he, like, no, he's more he's, covering his own ass because if otherwise he would have to admit like a grown up that fine, I made a mistake two years ago but the then producer no him oh Sam he Cedar. Him. Oh, yeah in, oh oh the producer war. yeah I, the producer like what you want to maintain like you can i'm sure i don't i, don't I mean there aren't that I, many jobs on the left to be honest i know but how much is this motherfucker paying i, I hope I, at least I, minimum wage but barely more yeah, exactly. five bucks more there's no way he's giving Exactly. Yeah. That's like they can't get better job. I, 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 anyway, I don't. Well, you know, he would that. probably that. I mean, that guy could probably get like you know small you know production gigs with bigger outlets. But I'm guessing he would say no because he's like you know a progressive and all this and wouldn't want to work for CNN or MSNBC. And he would want to work for this and exactly asshole? right. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he's anti-progressive. Like he's anti like progressive. <laughs> <laughs> anti common sense <laughs> he's a hack he's somebody yeah. who's found a comfortable job and he just literally wants to maintain the bubble of that job it's, it's yeah he's just beyond oh god but anyway so this is i i i assume there is no need to yeah. respond to his fucking level of uh anyway and then we had this other lady let's play her a bit i have her here a bit i don't know they pause a lot. I hope the video loads. And I actually was tempted in talking about this a little bit in the previous segment, but I decided against it. Now I'm going to. The question is, can you explain how this force the vote is different than Dems force the vote? There are lots of force the vote proponents who say AOC should have done what the Republicans are doing now with Pelosi in 2020. Well, remember, force the vote was about withholding votes for Nancy Pelosi's speakership role until she made the concession that there would be a floor vote on single payer health care in the House, which would have failed. Okay, so the ask was for a vote that would fail. Okay, so just to pause it here before she gets to the part where she name drops Brown Joy Gray. Um, She's not wrong. It would have failed. The, the floor vote for Medicare for all likely would have failed. Um, and if the squad members of AOC and the likes had come out and said, hey, you, you know. Something? Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's enough from there because, I mean, we we heard Don is lie. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Or, on, yeah, or, or it's lie? not a lie. Or I guess on purpose, like only understanding, like, you know, half of the, the story. Mis the the I misframing guess, I, yeah. comes later, though. No, she already I did the misframing, I think, just. Making it seem like, yeah, making it seem like forced to vote was only about that one particular quote unquote ask. This word is so funny because think... Brianna says it so much. There were several those asks and there, there were other asks and we could edit the asks, but <laughs> she had a point. <laughs> it, it just so pisses dumb. me off. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, know. I, but, have a, I have a tweet. Exactly. So Anna is already you. being disingenuous uh, right there by no, framing no, it only I... around that. I Sorry, I can't turn my VPN on. Let me see if I can play the rest of her talking. No, but I thought she goes on also to say that like other people were saying there should be other more reasons. Oh, I guess you're right. That's what she in the beginning alludes to. All right. No, you're right. You're right. Or so, maybe she does. So what about, yeah, uh, that's fair enough. And even the Vanguard boys agree that. Yeah. Although even yeah, that failing agrees. is not a bad thing. And because by the way, I do agree by that. The way, yeah. It would have. It would have. Like even if it passed the Congress, uh, yeah. the House, it would have failed in the Senate. Yeah. Like, what are you crazy? Yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> but even that's not a bad thing. Like something just failing again yeah, is not necessarily a bad thing. Because you could say if there was actually a movement for it and stuff. Well, you know, you could say this is the beginning, but in in two years we'll also 
that's how people who actually manage negotiations in other areas of life, that's how they get there. They don't go from immediately and say, hey, I want <laughs> 20 million for this okay great i was actually also thinking of giving you this for that. Exactly. No, <laughs> exactly the person be like oh no i thought 10 million and no this is a very Don't simple man, basic you're... negotiation I'm, I'm giving a, a shitty example but and then they hit a compromise and you know you reach 50 million so just because something fails initially that's not a bad thing you know that's like in anything in life you know you want to get better at running the first time you go run you run a little bit then longer maybe i'm giving really shitty examples but that's just the point. I'm you're getting, to, uh, to be honest, with the last one, you're getting to Jordan Peterson territory, and I want to steer away from that. So when you are a lobster, and, you know, you're looking for a mate. <laughs> what? It, that applies, you, though. You start the negotiations with clawing like that. <laughs> you don't get every hot lobster that you want, but eventually <laughs> you Jesus get one Christ. who wants to sleep with you. There you go. <laughs> See? The wolf pack. In the wolf pack. The negotiation is uh, no. I, I would say I. I think uh, you did like it's a good point you made about the you know in real life everything. I mean. Forget about your stupid examples, <laughs> you. but it was like in real life, like when your whole life experience comes down to like shopping at a supermarket. Though. <laughs> I'm I'm not kidding. Like seriously, these people are. Ex- I I know they're. But kind. what experiences and, have I had? And I mean, even I know that. You know, I mean. Man, you, know, you I mean, had to travel like internationally. In <laughs> Somebody checked your like passport twice and was looking at you suspiciously. Like you, or at least you had people who, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe, I, 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 that, that's, <laughs> I think on purpose, people selected for Democrats are weaklings, you know, like real, real weaklings. I mean, and, and just Karens and crazy people. Like I mean, that. I don't know She's what this is. Not the same. But anyway, also, but... also, you know, they just don't want to admit that they're wrong whatsoever. I mean, you know, she's not. They just don't want to go back. So it's just a lot of that too. Oh, that's that true. That's weird though, because Jink, like, he famously apologized for his for his right wing or psychotic no, like essays during his university. He I guess to. that was like, yeah, yeah, that was that was beyond. I mean, as opposed to what the rest. <laughs> anyway, the revolutionary uh, blackout. Like, so you know how movement. to navigate the channel and everything. Like that's my issue with them. You know the Vanguard boys. I know how to navigate. You you f- go forward, forward, forward until you see the tweet on the screen. Then you know that's the topic that they're talking about, right? But the I RBN kind of guys, I don't know how to navigate their video streams. Okay, here it's twelve minutes, so I guess you watch the I, whole thing. That's easy to navigate. But when it's like two hours stable. long, what's your strategy? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> I could, I'm, I hate, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not a fan, but, but I did have, I have an inside, like they do, you have to go to their lives. Their lives has the whole thing, right? The, with the one where the gentleman below uh, shouts at everybody as if he's sort of I don't know conquered the whole world with the working class and we are all just assholes. Uh, so that one and then you they they usually leave the hot topics for the end. So you have to like ah, go okay, uh, okay. To, to to think. And in the beginning is a lot of weird like stuff. Uh, just yeah. sometimes it's like re- sometimes they, it's like Michael Parenti and then next day it's like Louis Farrakha. It's like <laughs> wow, all right, what a diverse <laughs> range of thought you're. <laughs> Anyway, um, so uh, yeah, they agreed on the uh, anarchist period is here to cultivate the dumb dumb left, or but they basically agree with you know Vanguard boys, everybody else that forced the vote would have worked and all that. And I think we agree there, right? Fair enough. Yeah, like work that. Yeah, like you know, it depends what's your yeah. definition. Yeah, 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 in a very limited definition. Yeah. Of work. Now, before coming back to these guys, let's go to Twitter. I had some tweet. I think this one is for you, so you should read it on the top. It's it's uh, at Brianna Greyjoy the tweet. Yeah. Um, Ryan, Brianna J- Brianna Greyjoy did make you admit you're wrong. So originally, did say Kevin could become speaker, and Brianna oh, wrote. So- FYI, a complaint was that I interviewed Jai Pal and didn't correct her when she misrepresented the possibility. Not that Ryan said himself. Yeah, I think maybe this one is not. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Oh, okay. Build up to... Well, what? No, I think I saw sorry, what you I... wanted. The Ryan Grimm tweets, no? No, I had one uh, which the, there was one guy who tweet, had tweeted that, look, 
I really don't like you as a person, Priyanjoy Gray. Your personality is really on my nerve. But you were kind of right about oh, this. Oh, really? Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> it was that really was good. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah, was, look, your voice is not really helping the case, but whatever, you were right. So sorry, I, I think maybe, ah, oh, man, I'm so sorry. But anyway, this was an interesting one. So Brian Grimm uh, was also targeted. And I think wrongly, and that's why it's good to get the nuance right. He wasn't necessarily anti force the vote, but he did have that famous interview with Parmaya mm-hmm. Jayapal uh, in which he did not, like, he asked and she answered and he didn't push back. But he's always he the, the flimsiest very... and wishy washes. And he also, he kind oh, of yeah, half admits when he's wrong also more than others. So that's he always true. has that's a bit true. more yeah. of a Kali where he'd be like, no, you yeah. know, that other place I did say I was kind of wrong. So he always leaves like a little out for himself. Like, whereas Anna That's or true. Jake just oh, no. doubled down, like... doubled down, but yeah. he gives himself a little exit strategy. No, you're right. Yeah, no, that's definitely true. But yeah, so that's Ryan Grimm and stuff. Then we had this. Let's see. Oh, let's check this out. So this was a tweet before I think the video went out. Yeah. And I mean, oh, so... that's the part I wanted to talk about in the video that she keeps bringing up that, oh, Brianna Joy Gray, that's her personal branding thing. And mm. uh, I mean, this, like, well, like we're going to talk about this idea of like accusing others of personal branding. Mm. Motherfuckers, you're in front of a camera yeah. uploading your videos on YouTube. So what the fuck do you think this is all about? Yeah, like, exactly. What am I doing right now? I'm, I'm talking to my friend in a very <laughs> private <laughs> manner. What am I fucking stupid? Yeah. Like, who the fuck up? I hate her so much. Yeah. I hate these. Uh. I She's, you know, those people who reach the top and they try to make the ladder, uh, kick the ladder. Yeah. And it's just, mm. and you haven't even reached any top spot. Like you were, mm. you work for TYT. Yeah. Uh, and just... this, and here's the same boring bullshit from three years ago. So this topic is actually like... only from two years ago, <laughs> which does oh, make no, a big that's... difference. Also, it and, does I feel mean, like a decade ago. Yes. The exact same thing happened. So it only makes sense that you talk about it now. Now, perhaps maybe a few times Brianna's brought on this topic, like, semi out of nowhere semi but even that and i mean that's what we all do we all just oh, no, talk she, about she, the same things over I would and again say, but for once it was extremely justified to talk about this because this <laughs> what you talked about exactly justified. happened you know it's like <laughs> god damn uh yeah and i would add uh not only it was extremely justified but i would add she does annoyingly brings it up quite yeah. a lot if you see her show a lot and not half as annoyingly as Aaron Matthew brings up the fucking cylinders oh, in yeah. Syria. <laughs> Not as often as that, but she does bring it up. But yeah, man, it's... But and for again, once, would, if it was like, justified, goddamn. It's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like if Aaron finally finds a cylinder in his house, it's like yeah, someone mails it. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a real reason to now talk about it. <laughs> but I would say that, um, uh, yeah, it's just... It's so disappointing that so they are so blind in like into like domestic politics of America. They are pretty good at covering, but internationally so blind. But I would also add again, yeah, this just like yeah, as if she's above it. Anna Kasparian mm-hmm. is above you know personal branding. The person who would uh, who is basically was doing like TMZ for like mm-hmm. online before like TMZ had a website. Or Loser. Not I that anything the... is wrong with TMZ. I guess her personal branding is just hating on homeless people. Now that's okay if yeah. it comes up. <laughs> hating homeless people, publishing uh, pictures of pri- people's private parts. Yeah. What are other achievements of her great career? Oh, interviewing uh, sort of uh, NATO sort of officials, NATO yeah. bureaucrats. Like uh, what was her name? Madeleine Albright. Just fuck off, truly. Um, and then this loser. No. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, okay, it might have been an okay idea, but you know, why are you such a cuckoo about her? <laughs> the Cheshire cat of the fucking left with his smirk uh, decided to weigh in. So uh, he's. Uh, I thought you liked so them. Last I, week you were saying you liked. <laughs> I, I, I said to keep up with politi- you. 
<laughs> I know, I know. No, le- no I didn't say I last week. I was also, yeah. I did before the show last week. I said, <laughs> let's like strategically stay nice to this one person because I kind of wouldn't mind, like because he's friends with Sublation Media and stuff. So I yeah. was, for once, I tried to be diplomatic. <laughs> and the next week, this happens. <laughs> and it's like... Yeah, Jimmy Dore apparently tweeted, not that I'm a fan of Jimmy Dore, mm-hmm. you're still thinking any of these people are acting in good faith is a mistake, which is the biggest bullshit. I do, I, like, that's the biggest bullshit they want to sell you, which I, like, oh, oh, we thought, uh, we thought Nancy Pelosi is going to do this. We thought, oh, yeah. we thought Bill Clinton is going to be on the, oh, it, that's such a ball. Like, and for somebody who's a, adjunct professor of philosophy it's just fucking below mm. uh, it just anyway hi jimmy not sure ju- and then jimmy Dore mentions that in his article do you really think these eggheads are dumber than a pothead mm-hmm. comedian nope they're just bad liars they had to bend themselves into a moronic anti-logical anti-logic pretzel on purpose to oppose uh force and then he's like Hi, Jimmy. Not mm-hmm. sure why you are still talking about an article I wrote two years ago. But since you are, consider this your official invitation oh. to talk it out with me on my show. <laughs> and then underneath, obviously, the same, inv- same invite goes out to Brianna Joy Gray. She's been ignoring similar invites since late 2020, even as she uh, periodically expresses anger about my old article. But what the hell? My task will extend it. Well, I, I want to kill him. I'm actually surprised <laughs> Bree doesn't go on his show or doesn't invite him. Yeah, I'm very he's surprised. the kind of person that Bree does. I wouldn't be surprised exactly. if this happens yeah. soon. And Bree will well, come she, out victorious I, because uh, because she would. He'll be like, "Oh yeah, I actually agree with you, Bree," and that's what he's gonna. Bree, he's gonna Bree do. Is a do gooder. I generally Bree is a do gooder, and that's why we get so angry <laughs> about her sometimes. But this. Guy yeah. is playing a do gooder. I would yeah. not say that. Well, but yeah, he. I don't think he's a bad I, person. He's just. No, not bad. Per- uh, I, I mm, not bad person, but you know, just yeah. I not sincere. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't get know. I mean, the main feeling wife. that I get is that like Ben Burgess was like raised by a single mother for some reason. That's just the vibe that oh. I get. And then spent wow. a lot I of time I at his doing grandparents' house. <laughs> I don't know. I just get this personal. (laughs) Okay, no, it's just I'm interested to know how you get these vibes because I I go based on what they say. (laughs) You go based on some weird. Yeah. Sure. I get a vibe that he was his grandparents were plumbers. (laughs) It's the vibe I get. Okay. (laughs) I don't know because he kind of has this like little like like a bit of like a loser boringness to him, and I don't know. Oh, like, or yeah, maybe the grandparents true. were very much involved or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and like the grandparents' <laughs> house, like you couldn't on, touch anything. Shitting on really. extended family. <laughs> so like you're you're really pro nuclear family, huh? Like single mothers, <laughs> grandparents, no <laughs> nuclear family, mother, son, dog. <laughs> the dog is very <laughs> <ember. laughs> It's, okay, or yes, I'm I'm thrown off somewhat, <laughs> but I would add that I find his programming very like he still does uh, like he does debates with these Muslim. Did you see uh, on his channel he does debate like you know remember early like late 1990s like yeah. debates with Muslims whether <laughs> God is real or not that type of like things Christopher Hitchens used to do like back yeah. in long time ago. So yeah, it's just I don't know. Yeah, I get the yes there, yeah, feeling from him. Not the weird <laughs> Not the... <laughs> things you talk about. I don't know. <laughs> oh, here, that's another example of extremely, like using a dead man's word is another tactic. Yeah, I fucking, Jesus Christ. Like, no, I'm not talking about, like, I'm not talking about famous dead people of, like, dead person yeah. that is, like, within, like, you know, uh, like, people know, like, type thing. Deleted a tweet where I was needlessly harsh to some commentator who have been frustrating me tonight. Ah, oh, but I did want to repost just this part. A quote from Michael Brooks in Twitter. Oh well, don't read it. Where he expresses some of what I've been feeling about this and puts it better than I would be able to. No, I'm gonna read it. <laughs> 
<laughs> there is unfortunately still a dumb dumb left who confuses moral posturing with revolution. La, 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 la. Um, no, I'm not. I can't read. Yeah, it. and he I might have a point sorry. here, but <laughs> no, I'm nothing sure he against does. Like, that's the thing. Here. They talk so yeah. I mean, they <laughs> talk so generally in these things, and it's uh, um yes, I agree. There is dumb dumb left. Who <laughs> are they? Do we agree on that? No. Like they think man, they thought Sam Cedar was a like a reasonable person yeah. to you know engage in a discussion in sort of programming with on you know again I serious like you know gets together not just <laughs> to roast him for some comedy event. Uh, it's just... Oh, and then this read this you read uh, this I think you get more oh angry than God. I will. So Anna Kasperian had tweeted, the only time working people in this country made any lasting gains was through labor militancy. Everything, no shit. El everything else just smoke and mirrors. Dems won't save you. Progressives in Congress won't save you unless you make them the same way workers did with FDR. Ben Burgess, right? This is really it. Everything else is noise. I mean, you know, if you I remove the fact that Anna said that, I'll be like, sure. I mean, this coming from Anna is like the funniest the thing ever. I mean, can you get more like this hypocritical? Really and no, but why? Why now? Exactly when now Republicans have proven yeah. another a strategy in the past. Wrong. Suddenly everybody's look. The real thing is labor <laughs> militancy. <laughs> oh, real! Everybody's <laughs> suddenly remembered. Oh, the real thing is forming unions. And David Dayan does the same thing. I hope I have the picture. Brianna Joy Gray calls her out. And I would add also that in one tweet she manages to get shit right, unless you make them the same yeah. way workers did with FDR. Go read your fucking history. Workers didn't make FDR do much. FDR. Yeah, forget about that part. Let's just stop had before his own that. personal. I know, but yeah. just just to be clear, they are stupid on so many levels it's... <laughs> and unknowledgeable. But uh, yeah, this is ah, this is the one from David Diane and Brian Joy, as you can see, tweeted somebody who called him out. You see, another person. We are being told there were all these changes and concessions made. Nope. Just personal ambition. Like, even that, even fucking, I would kill for some politician with some fucking personal ambition. <laughs> like want to, <laughs> wanting to have a legacy longer than three, like uh, lo longer than getting a, uh, getting a show on CNN. Uh, it's just unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. And yeah, she she's very angry, by the way, that her debate is, on um, Sam Cedar thing is not doesn't like mm. she doesn't come algorithmically on top. I don't know why, but it makes sense. Oh, uh, and this was re referring to the uh, "Don't Force the Vote" piece from two years ago. This is the Ben Burgess. Mm. I can't believe he wrote a fucking piece about this. Like mm -hmm. motherfucker, I've been like, I find it hard to write a piece about like David here. Mm -hmm. Don't force the vote here. Yeah, write a piece about. <sighs> Just, I, that's why I generally hate magazines. I have to say, most of them are fucking bullshit. It's filled with nonsense. And then, yeah, and Glenn uh, Greenwald also used it to attack the geo, uh, use the Democrats, yeah. pointing out Sabi Saps thing. This you is sent kind me of this. funny. Yeah. I mean, I mean, again, nothing against Sabi Saps or anything, but Glenn's like on last night's system update, I asked one of the best. And most independent leftist analyst. First, oh, I love geez. the most independent. So there's like a, you know, it's like a yeah, spectrum. Like little bit independent. When the, hey, and we're as independent as something. We're like negative. We're too independent. That's that's our issue. So if Are you're we? looking, I mean, oh, how can we yeah, get more yeah. independent than this? No man, if you're not like working class, you're oh. not like. Uh... Yeah, fine. Are, and that's like but... even if you are not funded, but <laughs> so we are no matter what we do, we are forever not independent. <laughs> and and like the word <laughs> best, beholden. I love the word best because in three years or four best years, if you say are... Sabi Sab is the best, then fine. Because at least best, you need some, you know, you, some time needs to pass, you know, like Sabi Sab entered this space like 18 months ago. I think, you know, some time needs to pass in order for you to become one of the best. That, but that's just. Maybe one of my meaningless I mean, I, uh, criteria. What does he mean by analyst? I guess in domestic politics, I don't think he's far off, to be honest, in domestic po American yeah, politics. Yeah, no, I just meant because she's relatively yeah. new. But again, a... internationally, none of these people can be yeah, even then... remotely taken seriously. Like, That's true, too. You know, but hey, maybe I'm assault, hating but, on stuff yeah. for no reason. No, but I would... No, I, I just... 
because I'm a heater. I do feel like uh, uh, it's a good segue to what I'm gonna go now, which is revolution in blackout, which is just like this fucking uh, like ev- anybody who agrees with me is the best and mm-hmm. most in the, like not best. Of course, to me, everybody who agrees yeah. with me are the best because it's to me, right? But the most uh, it's just the tribalism is just I mean. Uh, Again, not that I give a shit. All of them can go to hell, whatever. But just um, just wanted to show you this as a sort of... And with the Mike and Darren video, I think I can tie it a bit nicely in a bow. But check this out. So, Revolutionary Blackout, I think I agreed with everybody that Anna Kasparian and all the her ilk are wrong and blah, blah, blah. And then, I don't know if you caught the Vanguard boys talk, uh, Jimmy Dore talking about Crystal and... Sagar and then Vanguard boys commenting on that. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. So I mean, I thought I agreed with what do you think with the Vanguard boys, but I didn't really listen to what Crystal Ball said. So I thought perhaps I'm not surprised if Jimmy Dore is attacking Crystal Ball um for no reason because I thought Crystal Ball supported Force to Vote and all this. So um she yeah, did. That, yeah. No, so... she did, and I would say she's again. I'm not in her head. Uh, and that's why, by the way, I prefer to call people idiots rather than sellouts mm. because I like I'm not in people's heads. So my first assumption is that they're not corrupt <laughs> until I have like some receipts to prove they've you know got yeah you know stuff. So uh, that's why I prefer to call them idiots. But I'm not in Crystal Ball's head. But she says that the progressive squad chose a different tack than facing Nancy Pelosi or forcing the vote. And Jimmy Dore is like, oh, they didn't choose a different tack. They didn't choose a different strategy. They don't have any strategy. They are just, uh, they are uh, sellouts, blah, blah, blah. And I, I agree with Jimmy Dore on AOC stuff, just speculating. But to be honest, I'm not in anybody's head. And just the way he attacks Crystal Ball, and I hate Crystal Ball and Sager are probably the worst like <laughs> show out of all. Like they brought in a Brooklyn Institute asshole to talk about china as an expert so i have and one of them is somewhat like on the fence about masturbation mm-hmm. so these are not like serious people at all but um just the level of i'm gonna uh, need to pick the littlest thing that so you agree with the vanguard tact. boys then yes i agree with the vanguard boys yeah kind of like, although i would say that she does i think she's wrong in the way she described the events but mm. just because you don't agree with someone it doesn't yeah. mean they are look jimmy door was like look how slippery she is yeah. look how mm-hmm. slippery she is let me calm the fuck down do you think what do you think she was trained by cia i know Jesus no God. she jimmy door i love it to catch people lying sometimes he doesn't use like the argument and all this is like he uses like police interrogation systems like you see she she flinched when yes. she said that the so therefore left, like, yeah. left side is the creativity it's a <laughs> shut the fuck up and then he and then he has the metal guy in the back who like agrees like, yeah yeah totally totally <laughs> The metal guy is the actual funny guy, like you know. He, yeah, but he started off decent. Well, the show, um, but... By the way, Jimmy Dore. Yeah, I'm so glad that we, even when we were a fan of his politics, we didn't cover him too much because I just, he, it's, I don't. He's actually a political commentator. He's not a comedian. Nobody knew him when he was a comedian. Nobody. He had a special on uh, thing in the boom of comedy, especially when whatever. I hate him. <laughs> but no, I don't hate anybody. Um, and then check this out. This is I hope. Let me play this part first. Then, if internet allows, I go back to minute thirty as well. But this, I mean, I should go back to minute thirty. But no, no. Let's politicians towards the Congress people themselves, who I think absolutely deserve the vitriol, um, but more towards some of his actual allies. Um, This is the thing where people are just telling you they're your allies. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? You just telling somebody that's not, they're not any ally of ours whatsoever. And if your ally is dragging your feet on the battlefield, I'm going to say that again. If 
your ally is dragging their feet on the battlefield, you supposed to do what? Battlefield, by the way. The battlefield where he can, they can get you hurt too? Because they're dragging their feet? This is a complete this is completely unserious. This is completely unserious to me. Um, or people that would be his allies if he let them be. Um, you know, uh, unnecessary vitriol towards those people. And that's what it's, I don't so this is what the Vanguard is saying. Cause he just acknowledged it's okay to do it to the politicians. But for somehow the logic stops there. Why doesn't a logic apply to the media people who are propping up the politicians you say is okay to treat like that? Why it's shouldn't until here, by the way, I hundred percent agree. I have yeah, but say, I mean, like, you know, I think that's unfair. Though. I don't think grouping, Crystal Ball. Yeah, grouping Crystal Ball making her seem like she's like a CNN, um, you know, reporter. I think that's just unfair and inaccurate as well. But man, this kind of approach, sure. like you know, if if you really if you think you're good. You're going to make life better for anyone. I mean, there's no way with this kind of approach anybody makes. I, I mean, I being this unnecessarily confrontational towards somebody else on like YouTube and all this. I agree. Uh, to be honest, I, I, I agree. I think brutality would be very good. But this level of, con you know what I mean? Like if there was an organization, let's say if there was an actual socialist party and they would expel people. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, and they would have expelled people, like, immediately for something, like they said on TV. Not something Crystal Ball said. Yeah. But something, let's say, they said on TV in an interview, like, they didn't support Medicare for fully expelled immediately, like, something like that. But, yeah, this level of confrontation and just vitriol, maybe, I mean, I don't know. I like vitriol a bit. No, no, it's fun, but I'm just saying, because, you know, most of these, a lot of these channels and people, their objective is to, you know, make America a better place for, for more and more oh, people, sure. right? Well, I, I don't know. Shouting can, I, I'm not fully Not in against, this way, but, but yeah, maybe. No, not at this target. We attack those people, the Ryan Grimms, who are propping up the people you say is okay to attack. And if the people who you say are allies are propping up the people who you say is okay to attack, are they allies? Logic works. Man, this is embarrassing. So I don't know, a, man. This is if, like... apple, if an apple equals an orange, then does an orange equal? <laughs> but he calls Vanguard something. I wanted to get oh. to that for a bit. Not that hey, I... The Vanguard boys already have a good nickname. It's Vanguard boys. It can't get any better than that. <laughs> oh, no. Well. <laughs> okay. RBN is here to say civility politics. That's out the door. I think people kind of get that from RBN. We ain't about that at all. By the way, if you're, shield... like you're talking, I would say you're still engaging in civility. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just because a bunch of Democrats and Republicans are now getting their panties <laughs> twisted because somebody says a bad word, as long as it's a talk, it's mm. a rhetoric, it's still civility. Shielding and shielding for the ruling class through your so-called journalism like Ryan Grimm and David Sirota. Dave, you get <laughs> David Sirota. What the fuck did he do? <laughs> what the fuck do you think? We're here for the working class. We're not here to play nice. So if you want to team up with imperialists, the hands will come, sir. <laughs> Well, what is he saying? I don't know. We're about to take this a is look what at... happens when you don't see any parents in your life. <laughs> <laughs> but he goes on to call them, or maybe it's before, but uh, he's called them ambulance chaser. <laughs> Whenever there is drama, oh, they say, 
why did we watch this video? And he's like, oh, why did you watch this video? Because you're after drama, because you're <laughs> ambulance chasers, you're blah, blah, you know, drama seekers. As opposed to, as, a, as opposed to revolutionary blackout. Yeah. Or, uh, I love drama. I live for drama. Amber Heard thing was the best days of her show. Yeah. Where's their goddamn, I had their goddamn channel. Oh, as opposed to theirs, this yeah. is not Anna Kasparian, this picture, these are not, yeah. this is no, no. not, but what, where is it? This oh, is the triggering. political philosophy and the working class. These are political flow. Laura Bobert hands Sean Hannity's his balls. These yeah, are, this is I'm analysis sure are, of uh, Marx's Capital Volume 2. Volume 2. <laughs> Part 1 of Volume 2. Only the introduction <laughs> where Laura... <laughs> it's just... I mean, Jesus. I mean... It's say they do the same thing they, <laughs> and, and i they, don't blame them because that's the only thing you can yeah. do on youtube so it yes. makes sense but uh, sorry my internet uh is not like yeah like half uh, half of their their content is uh you know i would say maybe they do a slightly more international stuff than vanguard boys but I'm kind of glad Vanguard boys don't do internet. And, the, and, and Vanguard boys <laughs> are open revolution. about their niche I, and strategy. And exactly. Also, it's a formula that worked once. I mean, you know, maybe now they should look for a different <laughs> formula. Maybe it's, you know, reached its peak. Last, but... time, la last time they were international uh, discussing international <laughs> politics, man. They had some weird carpenter <laughs> nation of Islam sympathetic oh, person the end guy. who's a communist. <laughs> Yeah, what's his name? Uh, yeah, yeah, Arby. That was like that's what, when they did their na internet. Like, I'm, I'm glad some people don't do international coverage. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh my. God. Just uh, yeah, they did. I mean, you know, it's just so funny. But yeah. everybody just came off very well, I think, out of this whole. Thanks to Brido. Bree continues to. I have to say, I I I stand She's the by only, saying yeah. most of. She's Sorry. not a hack. She's not a hack. The rest mostly are. And she makes the least hypocritical comments. Like the other ones, they make such yeah, hypocritical yeah. comments. Just like, you know, like the RBN guy was saying right now, you know, why do you do this kind of video then making? At least she doesn't <laughs> exactly make these like, video. yeah, hypocritical attacks nonstop. Oh, yeah. She's very, uh, yeah, she's very open as i put i wish i had that fucking tweet on that the person is like look i don't like your tone <laughs> but you were right and then she's like i'll take it which is she, she knows what like she has her own targets uh, some of them i mm. think are like useless like i disagree with her own, but it's she professionalism there's a professionalism that i kim iverson maybe also a bit <laughs> i would say has that. Yeah, just you know I, I don't, I just, I don't. Anytime I imagine Kim, I just remember her new set and everything, and it just makes me laugh. <laughs> her new set is not at all good. I really don't like it. What do you think? No, you I like mean, it? both her and Glenn, it's like they got an AI from like the early 2000s to design their set. Yeah. Like the AI is learning. Glenn, it's like, I'm Glenn's catching up. I'm catching up. I'm looking <laughs> at Architecture Magazine 98. <laughs> you are in Matrix I'm getting... 2 right now. <laughs> Matrix 2. <laughs> The AI is like, listen, I'm just like you. I have to consume it first, then I come up with it. <laughs> I'm watching Blade Runner the re right now. <laughs> Eminem. Oh, what a great artist. <laughs> Friends. What a great TV show. <laughs> I swear, so soon, whenever they hire an AI, it's up to date. Maybe you can come up. <laughs> No, but no, I don't know though. I kind of, I hers kind of feels to me like, a, I don't know, like very glossy. And I kind of like Glenn's set actually. Oh, I, yeah. It's a bit, I don't, I hate the standing up set. Mm. And BBC at some point, it's, I hate that that at some point they're like, Americans fucking, um, it's mm -hmm. all the shitty trends that start in American <laughs> media. CNN and shit, they started making it more interactive with media. Uh, bullshit studies that you know if the audience sees a moving thing they're in more engaged blah, <laughs> if blah, blah, you blah, wrestle bullshit. with the audience they'll listen to you yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> please <laughs> but, and then uh, yeah and it's just uh, it, I hate that it's standing up but I like the I really like the Matrix vibe that uh, yeah, Glenn really, and it's always been his system update was like that. Yeah, but it looked it better. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. That looked really cool, though. I feel like some of the yeah, best setups when people just do it nicely in their own home and stuff, rather than doing it shedding it in their own home yeah. or just going all out in a studio. When you go all out in a studio, it becomes, I don't know, a bit, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, But I she's just using a green but, screen with some random... No, but <laughs> random hers is in. like really bright and it looks like she's like, almost like she's in Hawaii or something. <laughs> uh, not Hawaii because of the tall buildings, but it's like weird. I don't know. I really don't. I hate bright backgrounds. Too. It's not that fun. Anyways, we did all kinds of media creation. <laughs> <Yeah, I know. laughs> From the clothing. <laughs> the Is there anything else on Force the Vote? Let me check. There must be. There was so much. Or do we discuss everything oh, and no, anything? But... No, I just want to point out that the, this was a pretty stupid video with, with these two ah. sweet boys. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the mustache guy. Yeah, yeah, no, I thought the other video you just clicked on for a second scared me. I'll go to that too. It was a wizard one, there or uh, something. David, and this is the best David Chris Griscom. This is like, he's such a nice human being, but he's just not thinking things through. He's he's saying that we should really care about, in the beginning of the video, care about uh, staffers in Congress. Oh. <laughs> and it's like, Look, this is where left like goes. This is where like the sweetness and nice niceness goes right. No, like no, they are fun. like what you mean? Like you know the no. you know uh, the the janitors of the of uh, the gulags. Really, they need better pay. They really they work they work from eight to nine. You know, cleaning up the blood and the bones. It's really not fair. What do you, who gives a shit about congressional staffers? They can fuck off. And then his reasoning is that only rich kids are gonna do it. Now because, that's you know, a bit better. Now that second part, that's a different argument. It's better, argument. but it's wrong. That's a different argument. It's, that's it's one I had made um similarly before, which I was like, you know, the the UN in Geneva, like for instance, it accepts anyone yeah, who wrong. wants to, and they don't pay them. But that means that people you need to have money yourself in order to come and do this and then after that you get a decent job so just like these staffers i wanted to say it's not like the staffer stays a staffer until he's 90 i mean he's a staffer for i don't yeah, know most of the six month. months a year or so and then after he goes and becomes a politician himself or even better he or she goes and joins a think lobby. tank and um yeah or, or or a lobby or whatever yeah for like that and continues and has a good life the other point that, yeah, whenever you make these jobs and you don't pay them, it only attracts people from a certain background. That's a bit more of a fair one. But yeah, otherwise, I totally agree with you. Although your example, I would care more about the janitor, though, in that situation. Because I feel like <laughs> the janitor the would, the yeah, yeah. That's that true. Would have it's it's usually forced. Nobody yeah. uh, signs up for that. Yeah. At least, yeah. I, I, I mean, whoever voluntarily signs up, but man, it's like or who covered it, man? <laughs> the Chapel Trap House guys covered it, and you know, I thought like maybe they make it make up some of these articles that they find, but they're real. But it's about this like girl writer who talks about how like she went through some hard times because she had to like move back into her parents' house like a few times when oh, she yes, was like, twenty, yes, yes. and then she's like, Megan Merkel. I didn't know it was an option to move back to my parents' <laughs> house, and like you were at your parents' <laughs> house. What are you doing? <laughs> How does that make sense? So some of these people, Can man, I? they are so like, <laughs> it's just un- again. The, the, the girl wrote, I I'll still remember the month where my meals were rice and beans. I was like, wait, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Now you completely lost <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds <laughs> kind of delicious. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't even know where you're going with this. <laughs> was that a good month or you're referring to harsh times? No, bad, even... bad. Oh, okay. That's a bad, bad. <laughs> I was a bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when Mitt Romney was talking about yeah his missionary work and how he lived. They had to use a and what is it? They had to use an ironing board as a table with his oh. wife because, like, they were so poor. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. um, like, you know, I had yeah, to use they... the public toilet the other day. You know, I was on a plane. I'm like, okay, that's, that's <laughs> not the same thing. <laughs> I usually travel with my own jets. It's always unbelievable. <laughs> no, I, it was, yeah, it was um, the sweetness gone wrong. As I, again, I will connect all of this to Mike and Darren. <laughs> 
story. <laughs> but you're right. The and video does video, start in a funny way. <laughs> the workers and then yeah, the, just, even the Congress, Congress staffers. Like, staffers. What? <laughs> and he's such a sweet man. He's unlike all the other ones. Like, has no blemish on his record so far. <laughs> Likes Johnny, Johnny Cash, my favorite. <laughs> One of them. But then this, again, like this was another example of what this loser, like, you know, pointing at a Steven Crowder's shitty comedy or anti-Semitism, like a team pool. Oh, we're going to, oh, we're going to expose team pool and a Steven Crowder, like the most transparent yeah. fucking pieces of shits out there. Oh, we're going to, oh, I'm going to debate a Muslim. I just, yeah, <laughs> these are the helpful discussions to be had right now. These are highly helpful. And then I had these uh, uh, tweeters open by these people, but since VPN is not working very well, I don't know what, uh, how much of it I can. Let's see, Brianna, Jimmy Dore. Oh, Jimmy Dore and Jenk got on the whole thing as well. Jenk is trying to rewrite the past, but you know, rewriting the past, Jenk, requires you to win <laughs> victors, right? History, not fucking losers like you. And, oh, I went. Oh, that's what I wanted to discuss with you. I went to AOC and I clicked on a couple of her tweets and stuff. And back when first the vote happened, I remember, I remember going on Twitter and every like for a while after that, every tweet she made it was like reactions to force the vote and people mm. being upset about that. But this time, like nothing. It was everybody was mostly supportive of her and it had you know like whatever she tweeted, it was about that, you know. What do you mean? So like now people are not attacking her or something? Is that what you mean? Or Either that or I don't know. I just feel I got a feeling on Twitter recently. I see less people like like you always. I used to see whenever you like politicians tweets. I always saw this like the worst like mm. response first. Nowadays, I see a lot of positive responses. Ah. First. I don't know if they change the algorithm. Mm, OK, I see what you mean. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. Maybe it's timing. Maybe I've been on it like I go on it like once every two weeks. So yeah, and as you know, I've only like I only started going Twitter again, like last week after a good three to four months being off it, and Largely I just must say Instagram is far more entertaining pander, and to insightful pander to our audience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to pander to our audience, <laughs> and Twitter doesn't even have any com like it has. Yeah, and the political yeah, insights, it, man. I'm like, I mean, like Jesus Christ. I mean, they're. The best ones are Brianna ones where she kind of at least has like three lines and a video showing why she's why, you know, she's poking at someone. Otherwise, all the other ones are like, haha, told you he's an idiot. Hey, 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 hey. OK, great, great. great well, that is that is our videos. That is. Our videos. That's true. But at least we don't claim that. <laughs> if our anybody's videos, into, I can send I it to you. It's literally like jank ha 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 jank ha ha at least stupid, yeah ha. but at least i don't go around claiming but, that you know our twitter is such an important platform for the debate and the conversation and all of this platform. oh yeah that's yeah. that's where yeah we part ways with a lot of people <laughs> that think that yeah promotion and discussion helps well. but no what's the worst thing about twitter is that you can't what is chicks uh, that you when they oh. uh, so some other, I guess, new Congress people that are. Oh, that's one of them is Cory Bush. So I'm guessing the other ones are one, new mm. Congress people that are. I'm sure gonna add to the squad's <laughs> firepower like crazy. <laughs> but I hate that you can't. Like this is so annoying that you, they could easily. It's not a like a genius. Like if they're engineers, like when you say show threats, show the at least five first responses on the same page so it doesn't have load a new page so i don't have to go you know what i mean like i hate that about twitter i hate things that doesn't you know what i mean like you should put show thread yeah that, that's what i love about google that allows you to do a lot of like brief openings mm. sorry yeah man no no I, really I mean, elon musk instead of, he should have yeah tried made small i like the view count instead. i really like the view count yeah <laughs> It's, well, well, I mean, it's been it's, like the know. most anticlimactic takeover ever. <laughs> so it's wild well, promises. Yeah, I, guess. And it's just... I mean, no, the, the Twitter files, I wouldn't say the most anticlimactic uh, takeover. Yeah. Uh, the I mean, Twitter files are funny. Uh, oh, yeah. 
we'll get the Twitter know, files after like later. It. Yeah. All righty, Sam, let's move on. Have some really great and fun stuff here. So this video, how do you want to approach it? Do you want to say what it's about? I mean, it kind of changed my mind on on one thing. You know, I think um, RJ managed to, you know, make me bring the best out of Matt for, for me, at least. Exactly. Exactly. I was going to actually finally Matt showed up somewhere where I could watch his like take on this Twitter file yeah. thing without puking in. <laughs> so that was very nice. That was very nice. And <clears throat> yeah, I, 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 I mean, you look, I, I still think it was a good thing, but you know, just, no, of course I, it's a I'm good really thing. It's just, we, we just debate about the degree of its importance. Really, that's where we come. Of course, that's, not a good yeah, yeah, or bad sure, thing. That's, that's a... no, no. I'm my main thing is the Ben Shapiro interview. I <sighs> hate. Oh God, that's just and the fact that he was like, you know, we are on the same side. You know. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, this was great. This was like, oh, okay. And you know, uh, one now. part of it though was pretty interesting. Also, one specific thing they talked about, like what he found out, which are again things that people know or yes or doubt but there's or assume but still they don't usually have evidence and he talked about the different ways that they can quote unquote like not shadow ban but like undermine how an account operates and you know you may seem like it's very 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 easy which makes complete sense whereas you know you just quickly produce one bot in a second that just any video that or any sorry tweet that has these two words in it just Let's take it easy. If we need to promote it because there's nothing else, we do it. If not, I don't know, give preference to this other set of thing. Or one was very interesting where they can like stop you from getting trended uh, completely or like <laughs> the topic getting trended. So those were some nice little nuances that he brought. But after we say this, uh, maybe I'll say something that if Matt Taibbi heard himself in person, I think he would murder me right there. So. Even here, oh, while he might not ahead. see it, I'm a, I'm a bit scared. No, no, let's talk first. So we'll get to it. I'm scared. No, no. <laughs> no. It's okay. It's okay. No. Richard is there. Richard no. is kind. He knows us. He'll he, step he's in. Met, he's no, yeah, He won't let him. Like, he, he, you'll get a stab, but you won't die. But, but no, I'm just, I'm just, I, I think Matt yeah, maybe... Oh, wait, go ahead. Yeah, we'll come back to it. No, no, I just agreed with everything you said. That, no, that was my take. Yeah, anything else that caught your attention specifically except the different ways of, you know, undermining or shadow banning accounts or propping other ones up or favoring Not subjects? Really, no, I have, I did watch, watch this very early on in the morning. So maybe mm. I, I'll, I'll come back to you. But no, that was it really. The, yeah, the details are the fun part. I yeah, I know. So that was good stuff. Yeah. And. <laughs> Poor Art. No, that was funny when Art just talked about his experience of being banned from Twitter oh, for eight yeah. months. <clears throat> and then he did know. the Ralph Nader thing. He wrote to his congressman <laughs> <laughs> and the lobbyist for Twitter asking, why am I banned? And in 45 minutes, Yours, they unbanned it. So you see, I told you, Ralph <laughs> Nader, he's not completely off with his right to no, congressman. He's not. He's right. My wife can't he's get pregnant. Did you try writing to your congressman. <laughs> Ralph, I don't know. I don't think this one specific area. I don't know if I, I have anything three to examples do. <laughs> and it has worked. This I person, have, there is a couple. They have grandchildren now. <laughs> they were only they having girls. Try. They wanted a boy. I told them to try writing Congress, <laughs> and their fourth child <laughs> turned uh, out to be a boy. <laughs> but that's why their generation. I mean, they are. <laughs> They are in minority of their generation, but their generation as a whole is still gets whatever they want. <laughs> they're active, unlike us, losers. Oh, God. But I love yeah. them. So. <laughs> the best part about Ralph Lader, what is that detail it gets? There? So, okay, you start the letter with dear sir or madam. You don't want to be confrontational in the beginning, but in the first paragraph, but you make it clear you know people, you know you have family, you have. You just put a picture so of their daughter in there, <laughs> in the envelope, 
And on the back, you just say hi, nothing more. But just so they know that you know their daughter. Just mention, just mention they have a very, very sweet family. Don't say hi, you know this. Don't. It would be a shame. If it's, uh, we would all pray nothing happens to that's that's the best <laughs> but man yeah oh, man. i never thought of that, that that's that was funny rj is yeah. the best though it was yeah, uh, yeah it's just yeah he was uh funny. like he's such a good man though he didn't make a whole fucking yeah. 30 different videos on youtube <laughs> how i got banned oh me i am elon is the same bring on so, iron mat i've like, brought on iron mat to, uh, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to talk about Six. Are you bad too? <laughs> <laughs> no, he like a real man. He wrote a letter to his congressperson, and it worked. After eight so, months, well, no, he wrote to the to Twitter's lobbyist in DC and oh, yes, CC'd yes, yes. Congress and BCC'd <laughs> Ralph Nader <laughs> and and the cousins and all that, <laughs> who are the aforementioned cousins in the letter. <laughs> Oh man! Well, it, uh, but man, do you think Matt Taibbi has realized that he had his first communications job uh, in 2022? <laughs> because I, I, I'm not I passing any judgment, but what he did is the typical job of someone in a communication. That's, someone high I, up in your no. communication gives you content <laughs> for you to communicate on behalf of the organization. It's not necessarily a bad thing. No. They gave him good information. But wait, that is, wait, wait. I That's mean, not harsh. that journalism is good or bad or communication is good or bad. I just want to say <laughs> that oh, if someone describes you what Matt Taibbi did, that's like the main responsibility <laughs> of a communication job. Communicate what the organization and its CEO want you to. Okay. He already filed uh, over good. Which good thing wait, came out wait, of it. It's wait, not wait, a bad thing. Wait. I'm just saying the job description is closer to that than the work saying, of uh, journalism. <laughs> You keep saying, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's communication. I, I'm not saying it's, it does imply you are saying you're very, but uh, no, first of all, I would say all, I mean, Rich B, I think, or somebody left a comment very well put that said that somebody should remind Matt Taibbi that, Jor can you see me? Yeah, yeah I'm here. So. Yeah, uh, that journalism has always been usually as sort of a PR thing. And mm. it's always been journalists who did good job have always been exceptional cases from long time ago ambrose subir whoever man <clears throat> but so i would funny. say no man in it i would say i don't know isn't mm, nah, communication sorry. wouldn't communication be more of a they give you guidelines as well or so, like they you have a like well you know i mean sure you know what the organization you know what the organization wants so you're not gonna say something that the organization doesn't want you to say out of the no, content but that's handed to him. Worked... Yeah, I mean, that, that's... I, I was more in marketing, so it was yeah. communication, but it was marketing. But in, you've been in communication, communication. Ah, where is this? Like, yeah, keep don't going. They... I can, I can... <clears throat> no, sorry. Don't they give you guidelines of some kind <laughs> no, for no, your cause... output? No, no, because I mean, because um, you should... <laughs> if you have a job and you were hired... Nice you know, upper you should... body. Yeah, thank you. You should know the <laughs> you know the guidelines yourself. You know what I mean. No one needs to tell you that you know you shouldn't I, say I, X, oh, Y, or I, Z. So it's not it's it's not codified anywhere in the. Oh sure, there are some, but like you know, I don't know. There's some like style guideline on how to write, how to put a comma and a quotation mark. But you know, if you work at like... Nike for communication, you should know that you know you're here to say good things about Nike <laughs> and not good things about sure, Adidas. But... So no one really needs to um but tell you do they, for example, do you think they would say we wouldn't want any posts relating to labor and Africa? Yeah, yeah exactly. But you should yeah. uh, you would know that yourself. And you know, he also got some guidelines like that, like you know, communicated here first and Things like this, you know, he did get some loose guidelines, but sure, fair enough. It, was it wasn't like to that deal. extent. Yeah. It wasn't to that extent, but I just want to say it mimics it a lot. It's very close. At an yeah, organization, yeah, yeah. he was given certain documents and like, okay, go write about these and communicate. Which, but 
but yeah, you're fair enough. Maybe, but yeah, maybe if through those he found bad stuff about Elon and only started saying bad stuff that related to Elon, or you know, if he started chiming in with his opinion in there, or yeah, so to that be would have honest, been different. though, I I would <coughs> I would, but yeah, say of course, the limitations that... to this half joke half yeah, thing yeah. that I said, yeah. So fair enough. I would say the ideal situation would be, though, I understand for financial reasons, maybe put a time limit on it, but pu publish all the raw data. That's the best ideal of just, just same with the Snowden thing. They should have published all the fucking raw data. Which they it. did, but like in pieces, <clears throat> like after that, they no, would they report didn't. on it. I think they, I think they, no, and they never they did everything. You're lot. right. You're right. They never yeah, did all they, of them, they but they would they put gonna, out oh, some. We're going to vet them. Yeah. To make sure there nobody gets hurt as if like oh wow no there there was a more of a genuine thing for <clears throat> that than yeah. Eh, yeah whatever I mean you could That's always what... you could also always go back and just take out like first names or things like that and then release them if you really want to oh, or do something yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, um, I like would names. say just yeah, I know, because that's like a bullshit uh, claim anyway, right? Like anytime anything sensitive comes out, that's like the government and like the military's first thing. Oh, first of all, that's, that's and even if it's not a bullshit claim, yeah. I like to know who was responsible for what exactly, yeah. to what extent. Like, yeah. I don't think that guy who like I'm not a big fan of, you know, I was just following orders mm -hmm. arguments. Yeah. So I like to know everybody's yeah. name. But anyway, but great video, as always, with RJ. We should watch more of his videos. It's just that he does it to topics that oh we should watch this professor richard wolf cutting the crap about crypto mm. ah, he cuts the crap about everything but he got some time. nice views but man i hate that that kid is <laughs> such an annoying um entitled brat little bitch this sam friedman right? yeah he, he's so annoying i can't yeah. stand the way he looks yeah man did you uh, I've been following yeah. it here and there. Pictures of his housemates. I think so. nine people who they were in a poly. You know, I like you read about he's a billionaire. He's in, you know, uh, and then you see them and you're like, okay, he suffered enough. Like, <laughs> this, like, this, like, <laughs> for, for few years, they had yeah. to fuck each other. Or, like, uh, yeah. isn't that like. No, and in a way, I feel bad for him. I feel like people like <laughs> enabled him because there's no way you're born that oh, entitled yeah, yeah, in definitely. life. You have to get enabled and taken advantage of oh, along the way. Got... Yeah, exactly. He's like so... most dictators. Yeah. He's like most. He's, he's just like a, a exactly. fucking puppet up there. Exactly. Like, he's as he's so as conscious him. about what's going on as Joe Biden. Basically. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> exactly. That's the thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. Take money from here. Put it there. Yeah, yeah. No, it's no yeah, issue. Yeah, come, Bill. No, Bill, Bill Clinton wants out, to talk to you. Yeah, you know, spend. <laughs> It's all good. And again, if I was at the end, you're the one who's gonna go to jail, not us. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We're gonna wash our money. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, you know, get our uh, paycheck. So he like, was definitely see. played by yeah. idiot, and I love like his parents how they're involved. <laughs> how they're involved. <laughs> he bought them uh, houses and shit. Right? I'm like that. I'm like, yeah. Like you guys enabled him too. Mom, this enabled is not the right what? sandwich. To, to turn out to be such <laughs> I told you I want you to cut off the the crust not with the crust uh, he's like that kind of kid I, I feel today you're going weirdly <laughs> like conservative everything is rooted in childhood you know, like single parents I think it was single parent maybe maybe gay maybe they were gay <laughs> right. not right it's not right it's against God nature <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know what to say to this, but uh, uh, yes, he's a piece of shit. I, I agree that for sure. I'm, I am surprised that he didn't escape. I would have gone well, to did. Brazil immediately. He went to Barbados. Oh, he, no, he wouldn't know what. No, but, in Brazil, I feel like he'll get he went killed. back to US. That's no, when they, when they arrested point. him. That's a good point. Okay, yeah, you're okay. No, no I they would, come and arrest. They came and arrested. arrested him there. No, no, he, he thought he was safe. I thought he was arrested in the US. No, no, oh, in I'm Barbados. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Oh, all right. In Bahamas. Oh, all right. really? Okay. Well, he should, no, uh, I'm okay. telling you, he's exactly no, he's like uh, that uh, level of smartness. <laughs> but Brazil. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like oh, he went on Airbnb, sense. you know, like, it was like okay, <laughs> villa. Okay, now, nah, yeah, this one's nice. A bedroom, jacuzzi, <laughs> swim. Yeah, let's go here. I swear, I feel like that's how he <laughs> Oh That's shit, really credit card the decline. Other, the other give me nine. the other no, give me the other one. No, I know it's taken for evidence, but it still works, right? Yeah, yeah. No worries. Just give me the other yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, we should yeah, maybe order before some, you know, so food sick. already before we get there. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> this before the whole thing. Oh my god. But you know again, anybody man, who has drugs. <laughs> You're 23 and like a bunch of billionaires come into a room and tell you you're a genius. Yeah. You might like. I and there are stories will, like but... that, man. Apparently, like once he Elizabeth got like, caught. No, no, no. I mean, with him specifically. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, her. Uh, but like, you know, he got caught during like a meeting, like playing video game or something. And they League still gave him the yeah. money. <laughs> oh, they saw it as a sign of. Uh, again, we come back to this with Mike and Darren video, uh, Mike Michael Seguro video, but yeah, it's the romanticization of mental illness. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> like, that's me. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> like, you know, it's like this idea that uh, you saw it in movies that if you a child was autistic, they were good at math, or if they mm. were schizophrenic, they were genius. And in yeah. most cases, as uh, yeah, not true, guys. Not true. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let's go very briefly. It, this was a, oh, uh, shit, the video has, uh, I had loaded parts of it. Let me see if the VPN is connected, so it might work. Man. Let's see. Oh, we've been talking. So let's see. Did you watch any of this? I watched like three quarters of it, but I mean, wow. you know, it was really? a bit, I mean, you know, I was traveling. For like 24 hours. Oh, so you can get a lot right. done when you're traveling. Done. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, I barely managed to finish no, this. I, but I couldn't understand much of it. I it's mean, they're single, both yeah. very well versed in all kinds of different theories and all this. This guy also had a computer programming angle. I didn't quite understand how that Software came into engineer. play. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's interesting. I think he thinks like an engineer about mind. Mm. And I, at least 60% of the vocabulary they used, I'm very unsure. Or the people of. that they're referring the, to. Well, I, yeah, exactly. But I hope the people, we, at least a few people who are still watching us from Frankfurt the school days may help us. What was he <laughs> exactly on about? But he was making a claim to scientific materialism. But he would, I don't know. I still found his claims about mind to be way too way too much like i'm much more of a human uh and at some point he's like you know like we start from nothing mm. i don't know if he meant like uh, philosophically we start from assuming nothing and i don't know if that's the right i mean you know that is it uh, yeah uh, that's not anyway but let me and there was a great bit that he played from i mean douglas lane is a great <clears throat> just editor so I just and he loves theory, like he's think. obsessed with theoretic, like literally theories, and like literally the meaning of theory as hard as as theoretical as you can get. Yes, yes, I agree. I just wish he wasn't so Hegelian, but and the title of these videos yeah. really don't help, man. The why? What do you mean? Like, do they have do they have anything or... to do with the topic? Oh well, that's uh, it's a uh, look, man. So it the makes half it of extra the show confusing. Is, half of the, half of the show is behind the Patreon. I know, but put a title well. for this half this and year. Exactly, and don't in the beginning they tease the best part. They're gonna talk about dictatorship of proletariat, the thing that Chris Catron talks about. But they never they spent fifty four minutes talking about this fucking Lacanian bullshit of being and who's what's there who's their ontology oh i'm here who's there where is waldo and then we like i want to talk about the dictatorship of the fucking proletariat i don't want to talk about who was oh the apple is it an apple or is it not an apple oh maybe it's a yellow apple oh they they mentioned the guy i really hate george Ber Bar berkeley oh yeah famous they, you, you remember i told you the story they mentioned the story as well that samuel johns like he's he, they don't believe in a material world. They believe everything is mm -hmm. material. And then Samuel Johnson is like, 
uh, dear bishop please kick that stone yeah and tell me how fucking Motherfucker. Yeah, so I was very interested, but I didn't know what was going <laughs> on. So he said anybody can help me with this. No, same uh, here. I can't find the I can't find the Chomsky thing, but there was a beautiful uh clip from Chomsky, one of the moments that reminded me why I really like Chomsky, where he's yeah. asked about particles of physics at a quantum level, and Chomsky's like, Look, when we are talking about those are materialist and those are who are like idealist, let's say, we have to be clear what even we mean by materialism. There is different schools, there is different definitions, there is different interpretations. And I love his fucking specificity with words. And this is what he says about religion when they ask him about God. He says, define what you mean by God and then I'll tell you if I believe it yeah. or not. Because as he, like he correctly is pointing out, like no, usually the definitions great. of God vary. So yeah. But a great video, although I did feel uh, it was hard and it was good, though. It was good. And now let's go to best. Oh, man. But unfortunately, ever. I haven't watched this, though. So. No, no, that's good. That's good. We, we are not going to talk about it too much. But let's. I just wanted you to listen to this and imagine how, how I reacted after listening to this first uh, minute. Um. Uh, Mike and Darren unplugged, or or Sagru and Staloff, um, and Mike and I had talked about it, uh, a topic uh, inspired by a review I read in the Wall Street Journal uh, by someone I'm sure you know. Remember Perry Anderson? Oh yeah. So Perry Anderson has just written a book <clears throat> where he took a truly great book and he didn't you know denigrate it. He just said it's not as good as everyone thinks it is. And then talked about another one that is better than people think it is. They're very similar. And so the example was he picked uh, Proust's um, In Search of Lost Time. Mm -hmm. Said it's great, 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 but not as great. And uh, contrasted it with Tony Pohl's uh, Dance to the Music of Time. So this is yeah, well, what you must, mentioned. Yeah. The, I, I, man. You must yeah, Perry Anderson. Pants. Basically, yeah, I was jumping off like yeah. a fucking, what's it, like a bullet, like but ricocheting off the walls. Um, yeah, man, when they, he mentioned Perry Anderson, I was just so happy. But they don't end up talking. The topic, they're inspired by, and not just Perry Anderson. I had no idea he has a new book out, and it sounds fun. I've read Proust's uh, In Search of, what was it? Ah, fuck. I, I read the Proust book, but, and I'm not a big fan. To be honest, so and I'm not surprised Perry Anderson isn't either mm. because it is a, a quintessential sort of, it's a, what do you call it? It's just a reveries of a Frenchman in you know in the countryside basically. So it's not you know I can imagine, but yeah, I, it's a great episode. They talk about uh, books that they think authors and books that they think are overrated, and awesome. man, he's. Just love him so much. He goes after so many people I hate, and but with like knowledge, unlike me, he goes after the beat generation. Uh, you know the poets like Allen Ginsberg and all that. And again, the thing I noticed throughout the video, and I kind of connected to the left and liberals and just fight against established order, whatever. <clears throat> he's very. I love that about he's very sort of negative on romantics. Mm -hmm. Like a lot, like the first thing he mentions, he's like, uh, yeah, he beats, he, he's like, he's very negative. He's like, oh, they are, you know, they, I'm not 17 anymore. Maybe 50 years ago, I would have found some of it interesting, but it gets tedious and repetitive. Charles Dickens, they are somewhat negative on his sort of mora moral, sort of, you know, pun, just giving you moral advice a lot. Uh, oh, uh, what's his name? Fitzgerald, uh, the Great Gatsby. The wow. guy who wrote Great Gatsby. Yeah. Another romantic. He's not a big fan of. <laughs> Again, not that. By the way, very clear. They all they all say throughout that we don't say any of this is bad. We just say it's overrated. Mm -hmm. I and... see. So they use that first example of what Perry Anderson did to do something similar. In the rest of the episode. Exactly. Sounds like a lot of fun. But. Man, yeah, I can't wait to. But the problem with fucking Perry Anderson and these guys, though, always 
whenever you watch a 30 minute video of them, you read a chapter of Perry Anderson book, then you end up like, basically you created like three months of like <laughs> uh, chores for yourself just because like yeah Perry Anderson wrote a book about these three other books that if you don't know those three other yeah. books you have to oh fuck yeah I have to read like three books now just to get what the fuck is going on in this conversation so but it was yeah it's amazing man it's amazing he's very who else was he negative oh they t- oh uh da- the Darren I can always forget his family name professor i want to say sir darren to be honest i feel it's wrong for me to just say first names but anyway he's he mentions a book i'm uh i'm not a big fan of uh i had that one open anarchy i'll find the name on tuesday but by um but the book is very much uh sort of a uh it's a very famous book that let me see if I have the tab. No, it was in my other device. Um, God damn it. I really want to know the name of that book now. But it's about anarchy, anarchism, and limited. It promotes kind of a limited sort of a form of a government. And it's very much, and you know, it's, and it has religious undertones. So it's a very much a bringing together, and it's written in 1972. It's, like bringing together the, all those trends that I despise, the sort of mysticism, sort of, you know, morality, spirituality, anarchism, lack of a central power. So, yeah, very, again, negative on that too. So, yeah, these two, <laughs> Damn. Uh, they're Sounds the best, great. man. And at the end, oh, the video ends. This is, <clears throat> oh, this is part two? Oh, no, episode two. No, no, episode oh, no, two. episode two. Oh, but it ends in the middle. Or no, maybe it's edited that way. I thought somebody said in the comments that it ends in the middle or something. But anyway, at the end, he's going after my one of the people. I, I really, the Kumo and, you know, all what's the other one? Kumo and the other, like, French guys. He's not a big fan of, I think, hmm. just like me. He's not a big fan of this, all that fucking exi- existential sort of, uh, you know, just nagging. He, oh, yeah, let's play actually this part. I think this really... Which is very similar inspired. And he said, I'm not saying it's oh, Proust, but it's mm-hmm. better than most things. And so that inspired me to ask you some questions. Um, this time, just talking about books that are great, important, they're canonical, whatever. But th- you think there's... I think in the end, he like his feelings are fantastic. Uh, you can see a spirit that's connected to the beats. Um, but I just found it oh, really tiresome. This is where he I, it starts there. Cool. Not quite at the level of Castiglione. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Empire. Right. By the princeps. And and I think, you know, again, it's not that people should, they should, but when yeah. they read him, in the same way I said, if you read Fitzgerald, read Wharton or, or Faulkner, yeah. read Ovid. Yeah. Contemporary. Right. See now there, I mean, strangely enough, you you know, you stepped on a bit of a tripwire. Of it I've always found tiresome. Uh in the sense that I don't the, the thing that's is usually described that is his greatest writing in, are the metamorphoses. And I find these a little dull after a while. I mean, yeah, it's the same story again and again. I'm sure there's some interesting uh stuff implicit here about the nature of the self and you know continuity over time and you know what's it like to be a tree and stuff like that um what i prefer actually is ovid's art of love and of course when i was young and learning latin this is a book that was forbidden because uh, of course this would ruin your morals it's a seduction manual and he's really good in other words uh He's not quite at the level of Castiglione, but Castiglione is borrowing from Ovid's Art of Love in the uh, courtier. So, uh, yeah, uh, Ovid, for me, um, what people usually really like about him doesn't do much for me, the metamorphoses. I do like the uh, Art of Love because so much of it is true and a funny kind of wry reflection on human nature. Let's be friends. (laughs) <laughs> okay how about uh any uh non-american moderates that you think uh, oh well 
or did I open a can of, a can no, of words was, there? But there was a time, maybe 50 years ago, when I found the novels of the existentialists like Sartre, Camus, Sartre. Uh, really interesting. Um, <laughs> I can understand, you know, the demand for action and uh, inexplicable uh, belief and, uh, you know, being set off like dynamite because there's no reason not to go off. Uh, you can see how spiritually this is connected to the beats. Um, but I just found it really tiresome after a while because, you see, what turns out to be the case, and I don't think that the existentialists anticipated this, is that constant revolution is a kind of stasis. Mm. So when you're constantly transforming <clears throat> yourself dynamically, like one of the Italian futurists, but here you're doing it by darkly uh, looking at, at your own nausea and at the meaningless of life and all the rest of this stuff. Really, you don't need this many pages to tell us about this, and you don't need to tell us so many times. I understand that you're forlorn, but you have to understand that people's tolerance for your whinging is really limited okay yeah wow see amazing is it doesn't that apply to force the vote and everything else <laughs> in life yeah oh shit oh man I, yeah it's different different level of programming there but yeah on the other news what did you think of that before i move on 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 what we just watched yeah, yeah, I yeah, no, that it, was, it was yeah, yeah, that was fun. That was interesting. I mean, the people. Yeah, I don't know any of the people he was talking about. I mean, anytime he talks about literature and oh. stuff, it just makes me want to <laughs> go read like a book or something that he recommends. You know, because like it seems like he had such a good time and such pleasure in you know reading it and digesting it and understanding it that you want to go do the same. It, I, he's like a detective man <laughs> he knows every i love it because so i i usually read like one book of each of these famous people just to be in the loop so to, <laughs> but he's read like yeah it's crazy all righty sam i suggest that since yeah we talked about forced to vote quite a bit and a few of our segments were a bit longer let's keep uh, uh one or two of the other things for our show on on tuesday so let's move on to quote-unquote geopolitics what do you think sure sure yeah uh, the movie and uh, donna white probably gonna get the culture dana dana <laughs> and the dana white one it should be a story that dana? should technically continue for a very long time i would imagine i mean yeah you got too excited about the clicks there, didn't you? <laughs> okay, bring it up. Bring it up. No, I'm <laughs> like this, this has to uh, give us milk for some time. This cow is <laughs> just come on, come on, beauty. <laughs> I mean, or it might not but, at all, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah you, your hands are like that so it feels like you're genuinely like we'll see <laughs> but anyways <laughs> Allah, Allah. <laughs> but uh yeah so uh in iran there was a couple of interesting developments Su supreme leader as i mentioned uh gave a speech and that's how fucking guardian covered it uh, Guardian focused on Iran warns France over insulting cartoon <laughs> depicting Supreme Leader, which Iran has, which is stupid. But what do you expect from an Islamic Republic? Like, not to like <laughs> warn you about cartoons? Like, that's like half of their business, warning people <laughs> about cartoons. So, but he did also say in his usual fucking mystic language that... You know, the girls with bad hijab is also the daughters of this mm -hmm. country and the revolution. But hijab is also a principle we will not back away from. But let's <laughs> chill out, everybody, okay? Let's chill out. <laughs> I just, so it seems that they are at the same time they did execute two people and two, three days ago, um, very young. And frankly, the due process, in my view, is not at all. I mean, this is one of the th that piece of shit Jackson Hinkle on Jimmy Dore and stuff. Oh, at least in Iran they get a blah blah. 
motherfuckers don't know shit. Like they do process. Uh, they're they're getting fucking ex- like it's less than three months. The whole thing has happened. So I don't think there has a- been any process close to a fair due process that these people have gone through. Uh, so it's uh, you know very tragic tragic stories as usual they come out blah blah for because of the executions but they, it's very fascinating to see that all of like it's so surprising to me the uh, everybody seems to be against capital punishments now mm, that's good and it's fascinating yeah very good and uh, very fascinating again to see Molavi Abdul Hamid the guy I talk about the leader of uh, Baluchi Sunnis you know the Friday prayer leader, he's openly saying that no leader is beyond reproach, and uh, it's quite interesting because again, uh, people who are not familiar in Iran's dynamics, Baluchi Sunnis and Kurdish Sunnis in Iran are the most sort of uh, conservatives, and they tend to be some of the uh, sort of power base for Islamic Republic, not Kurds, to be fair. Not courts in many ways. Some courts, yes, but not the other ones. Uh, but 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 Baluchis for sure, uh, because they are very conservative in many ways. So they shared a lot of Shia uh, revulsion for whatever, like women's hair. I I don't know knees. So you know, uh, uh, so it is quite interesting how things changed in the last six months. It's very good and. Also, she was released on bail. Uh, Taran mm-hmm. Ali Dusti, famous Iranian actress and celebrity. And that's Mani Haqiq. All of these people are famous. Pretty much all of them are famous oh, Okay, people. they're not her family. Actress. Uh, may, maybe, I don't know. I not Because uh, I know two of them are famous actresses. Mm. One of them uh, Ma, is a famous director, actor. So, uh, not sure, to be honest. Yeah. Nice. But cool yeah, she picture was, in cold yeah, Tehran. Oh yeah, man, it's been snowing. Mm. Uh, it has snowed again, and it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Although nice. every time I say it, <laughs> fucking it snows. My fingers crossed. It's, no, it's just. It still says, "Oh, forty uh, percent chance of a snow tonight." Oh damn! In you. eight thirty. That's oh no, it's gone. It updated now. It's Shit. No. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> such a live emotional <laughs> roller coaster. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I got distracted from the revolution. Sorry. Yeah, that's why I didn't be in a central comedy of the Oh, I still it's snowing. Oh, <laughs> what were we talking <clears throat> But yeah, that these are all but actresses. Also, uh, yeah. Actress, oh yeah, and um... yeah, not and Mani Hagiri again is especially. I love the fact that these people are staying in and fighting for once. Alongside All of these, you. Are, especially, but the, these two. Sorry, N- nothing. I said alongside you. <laughs> oh, say it louder. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't. <laughs> no, don't. Don't. They might hear actually. <laughs> there was also uh, the uh, this. Uh, what what do you think I'm going to talk about now with this picture? food? I don't know. <laughs> so that's some like yeah, kebab. Well, that's some of... that's some kebab made inside, kebab. like on a pan. What do no, you no, call that? Not... No, that's not kebab tabi. That's not. Oh, it. Okay, this is cutlet. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. This is the... Yeah, this cutlet. <laughs> this is the... You call it the same as Germans. <laughs> 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 but the reason why it's a cutlet, and I know this, and I'm. And it says it in two it places. Anim- <laughs> oh, Quetlet yeah. Quetlet Lovers yeah. Instagram uh, page. And on top, it just says Quetlet in the headline. So, uh, yeah, this is, article is about Quetlet and how it became a symbol of resistance in Iran. And it's a bullshit symbol of resistance. <laughs> and I don't like it at all. But it did. And it shows the backlash that, um, like, a lot of people in, not inside of Iran will don't know about uh, it was the anniversary of the uh, death of um, Qasem Soleimani. Uh, the people uh, on the left in the U.S. especially, not so much on the left of Europe, but in the U.S., they think he was such a great hero, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, 
it was okay. It was least corrupt like commander we ever had. And that's, by the way, why he got killed. Islamic Republic very much had a hand in that. If you don't think that, you're a fucking dumbass. Like they, I mean, it's just um, like unbelievably obvious that somebody from the Islamic Republic's top, like one of his rivals probably, like wanted him out. Anyways. Not that they ordered Trump. Um, it's just very odd to have two top commanders of the Quds Force all in the same car, and then U.S. knows about that specific thing. Like, anyways, anyway, anyways, anyways, anyways. Mm-hmm. It was his uh, uh, anniversary of death, and uh, as always in Iran with these things, it's anniversary of anybody's death. To be honest, it's nothing political, really. People have started making jokes and <laughs> people have started. And it's, again, I don't understand this. I like Qasem Soleimani. I thought he was okay. Like relative to Islamic Republic, he was acceptable. He was an Iranian soldier. So, you know, whatever. And he defended Iran. He was largely capable in in his foreign adventures. So, okay. You know, but jokes are funny. I like jokes. I like jokes about my heroes all the time. So there's a lot of jokes regarding the fact that he became a cutlet mm-hmm. following the <laughs> following the sad bombing that Trump initiated. Right? It just he's remains and you know, it's true. I mean, I do I haven't done the studies, but I'm sure the impact of the uh, rocket hitting his meat, some of it must have become mm-hmm. a cutlet or of some kind. Or kebab. I don't know. Ke- cutlet has uh, potatoes in it, right? That's what makes a cutlet cutlet, right? You're the expert here. <laughs> oh, I, I just know the <laughs> point. <laughs> Touche. <touché>. So, <laughs> anyways, there was a lot of cutlet jokes going around. And then there was a, a famous Iranian chef. I wonder if... Let me reload the page. See if the picture comes. Mm-hmm. There's a famous I Iranian. Sh- sh- yeah. oh. oh, there is no picture. What is that? Is this Sorry? another lemon tree? <laughs> Just another lemon. Is he always in the middle of Iran reports? I'm doing some serious <laughs> reporting here. Nobody. What is that? What is that? Earworm? <laughs> Anyways. They, they before we go to your music of choice for the background, <laughs> we did uh, the there was a, there is a celebrity chef in Iran that on the his anniversary of death basically put up all kinds of cutlet recipes on mm. his Instagram page like this is meat cutlet vegan <laughs> cutlet vegetarian cutlet uh you know chicken cutlet a duck cutlet and you know as a clear everybody knew what he was doing as a clear joke and all that and everybody was liking it and everybody was happy i i'm not on instagram i'm yeah. told all of them. <clears throat> but then he got arrested no, and I... his restaurant was shut down. So that's the difference between a real, like a fascist regime <laughs> and a, like, you know, like a fucking neoliberal, neoliberal sort of a wishy-washy sort of regimes that are out there. So, yeah, very sad. Uh, okay. I, I think he's still in jail. He has not been released on bail, but I'm pretty sure he will. So, you know. It's, I'm not going to blow it out of proportion, but mm-hmm. I'm just saying people get arrested for joking about cutlets mm-hmm. and Qasem Soleimani. <laughs> Qasem Soleimani, by the way, famously was one of the leaders of the SEPA who wrote a letter to Khatami. You know you know him? The president yeah, yeah. before Ahmadinejad. Wrote when uh, the students were protesting and he, Khatami started giving basically press freedoms and they wrote a letter to him I think it was about press freedoms and some sort of a airport uh, deal. They wrote a letter saying that you know if anybody uh, sort of if if this situation continues, the SEPA will have to step in, basically threatening a coup. And then Khatami after that became a much more agreeable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what was that music you were playing when I was no. doing my serious? Because <laughs> you said I wonder what or like wonder how or something, so it just reminded me of a song. <laughs> you know we're gonna get copyright strike for that, <laughs> demonetized. <laughs> but yeah, I see. But, yeah, that was that. Now let's go to UK, <laughs> and I wanted to just play this. Did you, did you watch this? I, no, I don't no. Think you had time for this. 
Prince Harry's autobiography, okay, Spare, down, has please. leaked, and it seems jam-packed full of surprising revelations. Now, Thank they you. include drug-taking, a physical fight with his brother, the future king, <laughs> and the circumstances in which he'd lost his virginity. But perhaps the most incendiary claim was about the number of people he killed when fighting in Afghanistan. Now, in the book, he writes this. Most soldiers don't know exactly how many kills they have to their credit. Under battle conditions, you often fire indiscriminately. However, in the age of Apaches and laptops, everything I did in the course of two tours of duty was recorded and time-stamped. I could always tell exactly how many enemy combatants I had killed, and it seemed essential for me not to be afraid of that figure. Among the many things I learned in the armed forces, one of the most important was to be accountable for my own actions. So my number, 25. It was not something that filled me with satisfaction, but I was not ashamed either. Naturally, I would have preferred not to have that figure on my military resume or in my head, but I would also have preferred to live in a world without the Taliban, a world without war. It goes on. <laughs> it wasn't a statistic that filled me with pride, but nor did it make me ashamed. When I was plunged into the heat and confusion of battle, I didn't think about those as 25 people. You can't kill people if you see them as people. In truth, you can't hurt people if you see them as people. They were chess pieces taken off the board. Bad guys eliminated before they kill good guys. They trained me to other them, and they trained me well. If they had trained now, you yeah. well, you wouldn't be out here like a rat selling well, they didn't. stories. Well, here newspapers. he might. Well, here it's worth it for him. But I guess. But that was. Those were some good quotes, actually, towards the end, though. Good, what like like honest, movie like how quotes. he how it's he like... saw them, though. Yeah, the de the dehumanizing factor. Though. Honest. Watch what you he watched some BBC drama <laughs> and stuff, and he's like cool lifting lines from that. But I it's was true though that you can't hurt them. people if you know if you see them as people too much. What? How is that true? <laughs> Have you ever heard to somebody? I'm. <laughs> well, yeah, unless they attack you or something, I guess. But mm, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't, again, I'm not condoning it, but I just don't think the only way you can hurt. And by the way, there's a military guy that is with me. <laughs> wait, wait. Fair enough. I guess a lot of people can also just hurt others. Concerned. Yeah, do the... This impression he gives about the British Army kind of looking at their enemy as subhuman. And he, he makes the suggestion that you can't kill somebody if you regard them as human. Of course, that's complete nonsense. And, and, and it's complete it's nonsense, I tell you, because he's a very brave man who went to Afghanistan voluntarily. I disagree there. The he did it. He just did it for more. And then and there's lefties, Anas Haqqani, like you, I guess. I know that least. they were. Yes, you yeah. told the truth. <laughs> the, uh, the yeah. tell the truth. We were demon. <laughs> but maybe everybody he did. Demonizes everybody. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. Fucking brat, man. Just l fucking love. Hey, he's doing I, what's best for I, him, you know? I can't hate on that. I don't I don't know, man. Loyalty would have been rewarded in royal family, I think. Look at what's his name? That pedophile. But that, they didn't want him Charles. to marry this girl, though. <laughs> Look at... I, what? Okay, yeah, I know. Yeah. No, I, I don't Tough think choice. that's a Tough real choice. Case. No, <laughs> no, no. They wanted him. They wanted him to keep her under control, <laughs> like media-wise. <laughs> All right, there is a difference. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, he could have kept his uh, house in order, and again, just I'm. I I I am not a fan. I, now, to be honest, in truth, you can't hurt people if you see them as people. Line makes me doubt the whole twenty-five people killing thing mm -hmm. at all, and yeah, I, I, I. And then, oh, did you not hear the more juicy part where he got in a physical fight with his brother? With his brother, yeah. <laughs> hey, but uh, it's a so, memoir. Uh, what do you expect him to write? That kind of bullshit. Do, don't write it's a memoir and keep <laughs> some. Man, I just can't believe people so close to real actual power can be so pathetic. Like, you know, they they literally can touch it almost, you know. Like, you can get five British lads together and do a coup d'etat at this point. It's like, what, Rishi Sunak is going to stop you? <laughs> like, what is it? Jesus Christ, man. Uh, it was I'm funny. Why are you funny. so sympathetic to this 
ass. Because I just find it funny when he's just. <laughs> It's just a bit funny seeing you get pissed, really. With everybody else, you were for family values. Oh, Man, this is Yuki family values. Family. No, He's sticking, sticking up for his <laughs> wife and kid. He's sticking with them, you know. So that's What about true family values. Original family. His blood. <laughs> Wants to King leave Charles the pack. Is Sam, in a very, have you seen how this. gorillas live? I should, I should find like an animal that lives that way and make an analogy. <laughs> with jordan peterson like, <laughs> analogies again this is all over like if you want to train you do it five minutes a day i do uh, no no i i'm sorry but yeah i don't Sam, approve listen, of this. alaskan wolves okay when they have kids <laughs> <laughs> when they marry they write a memoir once it's, it's official once many, it's... <laughs> yeah it's, uh, once every it's... one of them has done it okay they write a memoir it's good for business <laughs> oh, anyways, anyways. Uh, uh this video I haven't had the time to watch. Oh me neither should like, Yeah, yeah. I'll check it out and see it's, if it's good. Uh, should be great for probably we'll save that for yeah. a Tuesday. Donna White, save that for Tuesday. Dana! Black Dana! Guy. Dana, 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 Dana. <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't saying I, I knew. I was actually, I was, no, there's like a video clip of oh. Conor McGregor, though. And like his whole voice has been turned to a cartoon. And it sounds it's like, it's like right. Dana, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> But man, kind of of let me just tell you one thing, you know. So you, ahead, you, ahead, you've seen what happened right in the video, right? No, no, I haven't. Oh, okay. So never mind. That doesn't make sense. I'm guessing Ooh. they get into a fracas. Yeah, but check out the video just in case on Tuesday you can't see it um, properly. But yeah, I so we'll talk no, about okay. it next yeah, time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, no, I was. this was a last minute yeah, thing. And talking of big beefy men, Black Adam next week, next t- t- if Tuesday or maybe next week, probably Tuesday. Oh, yeah, that's when we record. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. So yes, probably next Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably within the next three years, we'll have something to us. But before going away, I want to ask you about this guy. Oh. So what do you know about this Now I know what guy? you're going to say. I forgot because I was going to say there haven't been any updates. But okay, I know. I see where you're going. <laughs> no, sis, I don't know if people... Because if people, regular viewers, if you're watching at the end of the show, you probably are. He last week just randomly brought up like <laughs> never like no like shootings very regular in US. Why would we discuss them? It's suddenly he brings up this one <laughs> random tweet by Kim that is regarding this shooter. And then <laughs> this is a big story. Two days later, I'm watching the hill and I'm like, okay, it was just very cameo, it's sharing his stories, very odd in the first place. Turns out the killer is vegan. <laughs> Just like who? Kamiar. I'm just, I don't know. I'm very suspicious of this. So are you, have you joined up a terrorist organization? Are you part of a vegan resistance group? Or But something? we put the part where they talk about his vegan habits, though. It's too funny. They're like, you know, oh, oh never mind VPN. Because he's like, he's asked for only vegan no, meals, funny. right? At the, at you yes. know, at strict vegan meals. Um you know, where he's being held in prison. That they were tracking him for quite some time, at least several days. They must have had some kind of evidence. Uh, his... Wait. Oh, I think I... Yeah, fucked it up. I think But the yeah, this way... guy tells about... Sorry, go ahead. If the, if the stuff about oh, that his vegan... They won't vegan... release that until uh, he is back on... Sorry, go ahead. It's on mute. Yeah, but let's listen to that part where they describe his like talk about this vegan aspect because if the way that they talk about it is true then for sure he is the murderer i mean i think they can just you know convict them and call it call it the day i think i think it's towards the end let me check. no it's like middle ish in a white honda elantra from state university where he was a phd student which is very yeah. <clears throat> so besides uh not approving of uh <laughs> Uh, what do you call it? Unusual family structures. <laughs> Been used to cook meat. Um, oh, he, I, you know, there's discussion of a possible drug issues, a kind go of back. loner personality being described, and then I think it's somewhat okay, intriguingly, someone studying criminology and that kind of thing. You know, what sort of 
profile is being constructed of Cameo's this guy. So yeah, it's interesting what you say about him being vegan. We've confirmed that even in the jail here in Monroe County that he's getting uh, you vegan, vegan food. <clears throat> um, you mentioned he was very strict about it. His aunt has said that when he came to visit, he wouldn't eat off of her pots and pans that have ever touched meat. She had to buy all new pots and pans. Um, so, you know, clearly very intense in that way. Intense? He, uh, well, sure he's the murderer. Justice, and then he was uh, getting his PhD. You think so? Yeah, that, that's enough evidence. I, I would just show up to court with that as the prosecutor. I'd be like, <laughs> I'm why show up the court. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just send this footage. <laughs> like, what, did you hear what a, kind of maniac he really is? <laughs> and, yeah, no, I, I have to say, I mean, it's not working again in his favor. <laughs> like the fact that, yeah, you see, oh, if meat touches your pants, I'm not, you know, eating. Yeah, so. Then I have but, to kill um, you. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> that's Absolutely. people don't know but when you came to iran that's what you said to me like first thing you, like said to me it's like if your pants touch meat i will kill it but uh yeah i interesting episode today a lot of revealing facts about you and it was like i didn't think the whole family thing was really <laughs> <laughs> every time it's like I think it's to do with the upbringing. <laughs> it, was it tragedy they go to church? Do you think on Sundays or mosque or anything? Any uh, anything that would the have sublation media girl social... warned against people against me. You know, um, Ashley Furnish. She said, you know, people just always blame the parents, never the state. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, or lack of parents in some cases. <laughs> and back in the day, dinner was about family time, not now oh, TV, Jesus. phone. <laughs> no, that's uh, what it, I think. Dinner should it, officially it, be for TV show times. I might <laughs> run. And... <laughs> I don't think I don't think I can eat without Find, watching. Yeah, I know. Now. Find other time I to can. talk anytime. <laughs> anytime, besides... but it's like... <laughs> besides when you're eating. <laughs> Uh, before we leave, any sort of like any advice from the animal kingdom? Anything <laughs> learned from wolves or <laughs> perhaps lobsters, or flies? And... I I use Listen. the cat analogy, <laughs> and you didn't call me out in the. I thought you will call me out on the Congress, but no, well, one analogy here and there is okay. But all right, <laughs> great show. Thank you for watching. If you have any criticisms, comments, or questions, please leave them below and we'll make sure to get to them. If not, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.